Uh, are we live? Uh, are we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with some space exploration. And we were just in the middle of cleaning up this mess before we really get started. Uh, what is this? Scrap on the ground. Okay. I think we'll probably put scrap in its own chest because it looks like it's going to go that far. Um, RCU, LDS, heat shield, maybe in here. I've probably brought way more than that, actually. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Get a nice, neat... What's with these chests that look busted? Oh, they always look like that. Wait. Okay, no, the, the, some of them are actually busted, but... Ones that are perfectly functional look a little bit, um, battered, shall we say. We get a single pylon substation. <laughs> what a tease. Let's put this stuff away for the moment. Whoops. Not the batteries. Let's put the high level uh, intermediates in that chest. And weapons. Oh, we got from some free space rail. I think there's a bunch of it in a chest, not just this little bit here. I should get the bots to pick up some of this stuff. That's a little bit easier. Nice soup. Shouldn't we be getting... Uh, never mind, I don't want to take that out. No. Well, could do this. We're probably getting a lot more... No, we still get the same power output from the big portable solar panel. I think it was that way with the vanilla uh, personal solar panels as well. In SE.5 with no Crestorio 2. It's probably just not possible to, with modded, uh, with mods, to get that to, um... to be variable. Hey, fr uh, Fraser K, Freco, Myclat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Finally some factory, indeed. Were you not getting your fix today? Whiskers, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that's intact, I think. Was it? Yeah, here it is. Uh, fluid isom isothermic generator. Burn fluid for power. Blue lightning, thank you very much for the uh, resub. Eight months, wow. Almost a Twitch baby. Thank you very, very much. And good to see you again. I spent nine years on uh, Cornetto fixing... Cornetto. Is that the name of a planet in your save? It's the name of a delicious ice cream where I'm from. Oops. Fixing deadlocks and iridium. Iridium in my last playthrough was, um, it was always either very slow or totally saturated compared to what we needed. Which is most things most of the time, but this was more so. I rolled that name for it twice? That's the Cryonite planet, okay. Alright, let's pick all this up. Can I pick a dolly these? I can. Wait, does that mean, can I pick a... No, I think I need to put a floor underneath them, if I want to pick a dollies them over from space. Be taking... Oh! Oh, they gave us a cargo landing pad. I guess I didn't need to bring one, uh, bring one myself after all. Doesn't hurt to have one more, I suppose. This uh, radar construction pylon actually covers the entire island. By itself. 
let's put the space pipe in here, conceptors in here, uh, chests in here, I guess, fancy belts, um, I don't know, rail, more pipe things, power stuff, zombies, uh, cargo rocket things. Let's not take away our life support. So it can't be dollied. Doesn't support moving, so it can't be do Um, it's the same thing though. Cargo pod, cargo pod. I think it's just that there's, because there's no floor under it. Um, interesting that it say it doesn't, uh, in, I guess it only has, like, one error message. It says it can't support moving if you can't move it, but perhaps... There was some free scaffolding. Here we go. If we put scaffolding under this, I, I think there's a better chance than 50-50 that we can now move this. Yep, there we go. Oh! Oh, this was the... I, I see... Wait, what? Rocket fragment. Oh, it was because there was a rocket fragment in the way. Um, but was it also because space? Yeah, it was also because space. Okay. No, my floor. Wait, what? How did I move so fast? Or is this just what 60 UPS hovering feels like? I guess I'd forgotten. Or maybe they made it a bit faster as well. Alright, is that all of the... Is that everything? Let's get this organized. Whoops. Um, I have more chests, I believe. Yeah, loads more chests. Data cards in here, iron, copper, let's just say plate, etc. in here. Guten Morgen, Nightfire, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Wo bist du? Was that here before? I guess it was. Lots of steel, concrete... Stone can go in there. Ready for the mic locks. Nope, that's normal speed indeed. Uh, Healy, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's a mic lock? And I kind of, I, I really wish I had like organized the ordering of this stuff before I put it in the cargo rocket. But what can you do? Just organize them one thing at a time. Uh, this might end up being too much. Heat shield, LDS. Should probably... LDS should go here. Red circuits. Uh, how about glass in here? Stone. I should have brought Logibots. If I turned these into um, storage chests, even temporarily... Actually, no, I would need all the storage chests. Wait, but we can make storage chests already. Yeah, if I'd brought Logibots and storage chests and then... shoved these into the, active, the one active provider chest we have, I guess that could have sorted itself out. It would have been a bit slow. This is more work, but it's quick. Let's put all the electric motors there. Probably got room for them. Fuel goes in here. What's this? Nothing. Oh, yes it is. Oh, can I shift C? <gasps> I can! Oh! Even distribution, you are so good. Give me that shift C. 
Yes. So now this is full, actually. Big electric, small electric. That's so much easier. And... Go. Uh, small electric, big electric. Copper plate. Ran out of space. Trouble is, these ones are in range. I could change the shift C range, right? But I don't think we really need to. It's probably. It might prioritize the ones that are close to me. It's, whatever it is, it's working well enough. Alright, uh, let's put heat shielding in one chest then. Steel can go in here. Concrete. And fantastic. Plastic. Uh, small electric. Alright, this should be enough, I imagine. Um, and I might just pick it dollies these barrels over. Okay. Do we have any... I didn't bring any more solar panels. Well, I did, but... How much power is this, actually? Uh, 1.2 megawatts already. That's nice. We had accumulators here, but for most things, they don't matter. There, there's a couple of things that it's worth putting an accumulator in for, but... I didn't bring any, and it's not that big of a deal right now. We have no productivity bonus. I definitely should have bought some prods. I don't... There's sulfur over here, isn't there? Um, I could actually make some prods. Just three prod twos, that's the best I can do. That's not going to be that much effort to make. Um, coal can go in here, I suppose. We don't have... Yeah, there's no more research that we can do without... Um, Space science packs. Literally none. Definitely not a single piece of research left. So we can't get any productivity bonuses. I forgot Vulcanite blocks uh, count as fuel for a second there. Fuel. Emergency reserves will be used. Yeah, we have to research before that works. Let's see. 30 megajoules. 100 megajoules times 10, 1,000. 30 times 100, 3,000. Uh, Vulcanite blocks are a lot more energy dense. The stack sizes... We can't use Vulcanite blocks to power our jetpack. I'm pretty sure. Wait, what? Oh, I think it's running off of the jetpack fuel that was... Like, we'd already consumed something. Let me put everything that could be fuel in my logistic trash slots. And, yeah, it seems like we're running off of the fumes of the last, like, unit of fuel that we consumed, probably. Unless I'm missing something? Nope, oh, there it goes. Alright, so we can prove now Vulcanite doesn't count as jetpack fuel. Wood doesn't count as jetpack fuel. Okay, cool. Um, does it tell us somewhere, actually? Uh, jetpack. No, it doesn't say. That's a little bit surprising. Cleaning time? Isn't that fun? Well, the results are 
don't think fun is the right word, but it's satisfying. I'm the Deadlock King. Uh, Tharfo, good morning. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Learned that yesterday, Vulcanite to Flux to Steam brings tons of power. Interesting. Yeah, um, I think we can make rocket, uh, solid rocket fuel from Vulcanite. Well, we could last time. Maybe we can't do it yet. Solid ro rocket fuel. Here we go. Uh, left click. Oh, we have to turn it into a fluid. Pyroflux is liquid Vulcanite, right? The, the icon heavily implies it. Rocket fuel from Pyroflux. Ooh, Orbit. Indeed. Maholic. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's grab some intermediate products. Glass. Electronic components. I didn't bring electronic components. Oh, no. Uh, can we make those? And sulfur. Electronic components. Gl I don't have silicon. Silicon is ultimately from stone, though, right? Uh, where did we do it? In our base. That's kind of the easiest way to look it up right now. Uh, we need to make quartz... From sand and water. I don't think I'm going to go that far. Just to make a couple of prod modules while we're here. Just to save a small amount of science packs. We need to come back up with more stuff anyway. Alright, so we need, to, uh, we need to make 400 rocket science packs. Let's work backward from our conclusion. We need stone processing unit, uh, cosmic water, rocket fuel, and space belt. So space belt and cosmic water is really all we need to make while we're here. We've got our barrels to supply lubricant and water. We've got liquid, uh, we've got solid ice up here if we need to make more water, but I think for the moment we'll be fine. Empty water barrel, empty lubricant barrel, and space belt. Small electric LDS steel plate lubricant. That's actually shockingly easy. Okay. Um, we have some space pipe. Could I maybe... think there's a super convenient way to do this. Uh, lubricant won't go through here, right? That's probably better. And then this would be too close. Something like this, maybe? Or like this? Oops. In Surtis. Uh, I can't quite share one container between these two. I guess we'll live with it. Let's get some barrels. It's something like one to a hundred, right? It's literally 1 to 99, yeah, ten, uh, almost 100 times as much water as lubricant. And it's 
small electric LDS steel plate. LDS small electric steel plate. Fantastic. Stone. Uh, blue processes and solid rocket fuel. Where are my blue processes? There we go. And SRF. Get in there. Give me some of my processed fuel. And I think that's it. it. That is it. That is uh, space science packs. Pretty easy to throw together with some hand-fed spaghetti. Why is the cosmic water stopped? Oh, because we aren't dealing with the empty barrels. Okay. And then? Where did that lab go? There it is. Alright, so we need to decide very carefully. Um, while we're still up here, we'll be limited to 400 science. I think it's all 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio. Oh, this one requires military... Oh, right. Yeah, that's the one that... Never mind. Uh, I think this is definitely my first priority. It's also quite cheap. Space capsule navigation unlocks the ability to use the capsule for personal transport. Rocket sections can be added directly to the space capsule in order to launch without a cargo rocket silo? Wait, what? Rocket sections can be added directly to the space capsule. That's cool. Useful for moving characters around, but not for their cargo. Yep. That one is the best new addition, yeah. I'd seen people use this a little bit, but I didn't realize you could, like, add a little bit to it to make it bigger than a capsule, but smaller than a cargo rocket. Um, so we're almost definitely doing that first. I don't care much about industrial furnace just yet. Condenser turbine is similarly not the highest priority. Um, can we get coverex? Oh my god. We need production science packs. Uh, automation 3, I don't think I care about at this point. Blue belts would be a nice luxury, but it uses three quarters of our available supply of science for the moment. Same goes for red armor. I don't know, red armor would make it a bit easier to clear. Uranium ammo wouldn't be the worst idea. I could skip over the red ammo for the anti-material rifle. Damage is 120... It's damage is 200? Not, a, not counting the radioactive damage. As opposed to... Like, 128? So it's approximately double. Veldak? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I may go for uranium ammo and space capsule navigation. Uh, quarry mineral extraction. Immersite. Okay, well, we're not there yet. Uh, let's see. Destroy a capsule. I mean, I could. 
Hmm. I actually could get destroyer capsules. If I'm going to pick one military thing to go with this, that would make clearing the biters that much easier. I've never really had destroyers when they were relevant. This would be a first. Whiskers? Good to see you again. Wait, I said hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying hi to Veldak. Okay. Well, you're welcome anyway. What's this? Impulse rifle shooting speed. Impulse rifle. Insert a jetpack. Jetpack is a little tempting. Alright, so we're really just choosing... Oh, maybe I could go for cargo rocket. We can only do one tier of each of these. Uh, reusability and survivability. So I could go... That's 200, 250, that leaves 150. I don't think I can fill out the last 150. Space manufacturing is like whatever right now. Oh, rocket cargo safety. Uh, I, yeah, I could go for one of each of these. And that's the best we can do for a while. To improve the cargo rockets. And we can get space capsule navigation. I think we're doing that. Furnace? It's not urgent. I don't have the prods to take advantage of it yet. Okay, so we're going to creep along with our research for now. To melt the ice. I don't think you need a furnace to melt the ice. Um, you need, like, a chemical plant or the space equivalent of it? Oh, I don't have that yet. Well, we didn't have it up... We didn't have it available in research. Let's see. Maybe they changed it. Or maybe K2 changes it. This is how you get ice. Yeah. Electric boiler. Huh. Huh. Wait, can we put electric boilers in space? Surely, yes. Yeah, we can. Oh, I've got one right here. Evaporation venting? No? Hold on, what? Ice. Right click. What? Ice becomes water. We need water ice processing to figure out how to melt ice with an electric boiler. Uh, and we could also do it in a chemical plant, a thermodynamics facility, or a biochemical facility. Okay. Well, good to know that we don't need, like, a, what is it, 7x7 seven seven or bigger? I, th I think it's, like, 7x7, seven seven, the biochemical facility. Um... Just to melt some ice. No, it's bigger than that. It is 9x9. Nine nine. Okay. So that actually took a lot less time. Wait, what? Are we researching? Oh, we're bottlenecked on the space science packs already. Okay. And I can't wait to see what my navigation options are with the space capsule once that's done. I should probably explore um, Nervous Orbit a bit. We've got Methane Ice. I never used that in my last playthrough, but if it's right here, maybe we will. Methane Ice? Because I would have had to go to... Um, I would have had to go 
to the asteroid belt to get it. We can make methane gas and nothing else. With methane gas, we can make... We might need it at some point. Lattice pressure vessel. Processed fuel. Bios... We actually lose bio sludge. We get a lot of crude oil. We basically turn the methane gas into crude oil and lose a bit of bio sludge. That's definitely a trade I'll have to consider. I ended up with way too much bio sludge last time. We need it for naquium ingots? That's rude. Self-healing gel, nutrient gel... Okay, nothing to worry about with it yet. Talon Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. In a vacuum? Yeah. Easy. How could that possibly be any more difficult? Um, what are we using to make belts? Lubricant. And this stuff. The, the amount of lubricant... Well, it's... No, it's literally just lubricant. This is what uses the cosmic water. So we can probably stash a bunch of... We do only have the ten barrels of lubricant. Oh, have we already consumed it? Really? What? Did I actually use up all the lubricant already? Well, I could make more of it from heavy oil if it comes to that. Assuming I have a way to do chemical plant things up here, which I don't. Uh, lubricant. Biochemical facility, advanced chemical plant. I don't think I have an advanced chemical plant and probably doesn't work in space. Uh, biochemical facility? Requires 100 space science. Oh, but it's also behind some free wrecks. This one. Maybe we don't do rocket reusability first. Um, okay, uh, maybe I'll keep the cargo safety if I can afford it, and we'll get the chemical plant. That might be a good idea. I don't expect to run out of lubricant. Maybe I should expect to run out of lubricant. Five lubricant per space transport belt. So ten lubricant for five science packs. Two lubricant per science pack. We had 50 times 10, 500. Um, which means we can only make 50 science packs? And that's not counting the little amount of lubricant going into cosmic water. Are we actually gonna... Okay, no. We're not getting to 99% on this and then stopping. That would have been too sad. But... I don't know, I think my math was probably wrong. But I think we might not be getting... Uh... I think we might not be getting to biochemical facility before we run out of loot. Let's do the math again. Uh, five space science packs. Let's ignore the cost of cosmic water for a moment. It's literally 0.1 lubricant. We can add that later. Um, two lubricant per science pack. And we need another 200. So, 400. And we had 500, right? 
But how is... Oh, there's 200 here. And 20 here, and 2 here. Okay, we might be okay. While that's researching, let's have a look at what we can do here. Ooh. We, we can go back to Nalvis, and, and let's not do it with an emergency burn regardless. Uh, that would take 24 solid rocket fuel. You can add stages to it with cargo rocket sections. If we go to Eshu Orbit Outbound from Nalvis, that's what I'm more interested in. So the staging is basically you have to consume cargo rocket sections. Uh, and the cargo capacity counts what's on the player's inventory as well. That includes these things that we can just dis uh, just delete, like bl uh, blueprints. Um, I'm guessing if we smuggle things into our trash slots, it's 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 gonna notice. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of glad to be honest. So I don't have to shove things into my trash slots to exploit this. So if we want to go to Eshu, um, or Eshu Orbit, that is, we need 40 solid rocket fuel. That's not that much, considering going back to Nalvis Orbit is just 24. Also, yeah, it's here, here, and trash slots that count towards the cargo capacity, as expected. But that means, um, the four stacks of solid rocket fuel that we're gonna need probably counts towards the cargo limit. No, it doesn't. It subtracted it. Okay, that's, that's a small mercy. I wonder if we can upgrade the cargo capacity at some point. What's the UPS goal this time? Uh, not 12. Can you send rocket up with more lubricant? Yeah, I can do that. But I think I might... I think I might just use the cargo... Uh, sorry, the, uh... The space capsule. I mean, if I'm only bringing up a few stacks of things, like if that's the purpose, then it makes a ton of sense just to use the space capsule. If we're sending less than a whole cargo rocket, it's sort of a waste. Nervous Orbit Landing Pad. And... And what? So I need to come back with rocket tech cards. Well, with, with all the tech cards. So we'll probably put those in a cargo rocket. Um, as much as I don't have a lot of logi bots, I sort of wish I'd done an automatic supply of this already. I should have disabled these when I launched. I could make another cargo rocket silo. We've already got one made somewhere. Um, I could literally just put it here. I kind of have the itch to fly around, but there's no reason right now. Did, did, did I get any cargo rocket sections that were recycled? I think I got literally zero. Which, uh... Rocket reusability. We've already got level one. Oh, this is presumably if it lands at a cargo pad, though. 
So I guess I shouldn't be shocked that we got literally zero cargo rocket sections back this time. We could make some. I think. I actually... Did I bring rocket control units? I did. Mostly by accident. Four makes one, and we've got 34. Uh, so we can make... Eight. We'd also have to make... I've got the cargo pods. Where did the cargo pods go? Are they in my inventory? Yeah, we've got cargo pods. So I would have to make rocket fuel tanks. Which is just this. It's not so bad. I, I wish I had a reason right now to fly around with the... Uh, with the space capsule, but I can't find it. I can't find a reasonable excuse at this point. All right, let's put some of this stuff away, especially the things that only work in space. CME two minutes. Oh. Oh, we missed it, or did we? Mass we missed both of them? We missed the first one. At least. Yeah, we did miss the first one. ETA one minute. How's our steam? Oh, there's so much of it. I think we're fine. I'm pretty sure we're fine. I... Pr I Maybe it's not too late. Uh, we've got literally seconds. 40 seconds. Uh, let me hook up all of these. And I want to see exactly how much steam we lose with one of these CMEs. And then... Connect like that. Cool. Uh, 2.1 million steam we've got at 500 degrees. And CME is starting. Alright, let's go. Let's see that power. Double the CME, double the fun. So this is where it peaked last time. It should be exactly the same. 2.8 gigawatts is the max all of our power producers can give us at once. And here we are at the peak. Fantastic. Well, very nearly at the peak. How much steam do we have left? 1.8, 1.7. Does the umbrella on the surface also protect the orbit? I believe so. I think they changed that at some point during 1.5. Either orbit or surface would work for both uh, Umbrella and uh, the media defense installations. Come to think of it... No, I was going to say maybe it would be best already if we set up the media defense installations in space. It would certainly be good power-wise, but supplying the ammo... I don't know, we could make that like our first regular cargo rocket. That'd be a lot of ammo to just put in a cargo rocket. Alright, CME has passed. 
we have 1.3 million steam remaining. So we used like 0.8 to cover the entire CME. Let's call it a million steam, um, just to be sure, to cover 182 gigajoules. Alright then. Are we... How far along are we with the science? How's our lubricant? We're down to 88 in the pipes. Yeah, I think we will get the biochemical facility done. Which means we're gonna run out of... Does it mean we're gonna run out of these tech cards? Not necessarily. Next Corona needs over 6 gigawatts? Uh, yes it does. Oh, that's peak power. 481. It's like two and a half times as much power. Well, it's pretty much proportional to this, isn't it? Uh, we've only got a day to prepare for it. Oh, this is a basilisk orbit, so that's none of our concern. Now this is 182 gigawatt again. Indeed. Okay. Um, I think I'll ride the space capsule up and down and just come back with some... Probably some more science packs. I should probably put all my stuff in the chest for now. Maybe not the life support. Oh. Why am I not wearing the life support? Whoops. Uh, don't worry about it. It's fine. This is fine. Alright, so... Cargo capacity. Solid rocket fuel just straight up doesn't count. I thought it would be solid rocket fuel that's going towards the requirement here, but apparently not. Also, the fuel requirement changes depending on how many stacks we're carrying. That's interesting. Alright, let's put this stuff away. And... I'll go back and bring... Uh, tech cards, and maybe some lubricant in... We've got the heavy oil up here. What does heavy oil... let's see. Heavy oil to lubricant is just one to one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's in bot range. I could get them to build this. Uh, but I don't think we have any steel... Uh, we don't have barrels. And we wouldn't have the requests to get the logistic bots to sort it out for us. I could, however... Belt down some steel in order to make some barrels. And we could pick up the barrels ourselves later. What is this? Get out of here. Where be steel? There it is. Okay. 
Okay, barrel. Uh, inserter. Lubricant barrel. Fill. Fill L. Apparently the soft search isn't helping much with that. There we go. Fill lubricant barrel. And a chest. Cool. There'll be more than enough of those by the time we get back. And I think that's the main resource we're going to run out of. There's also water. Oh, that doesn't go there, does it? I'm just going to put these here. We could probably stand to bring some water back with us as well. Do I have water handy? Should. Relatively handy. It's all the way over here. Hmm. That is slightly inconvenient. What about through here? That actually works quite well. Oh, perfect. All right, uh, pipe. Fill water. And put it here, I suppose. Why are we so low on lubricant? Because we're making so many big electric motors. We Yeah, I actually filled two cargo rockets with them, and we, we built more than that. Big electric uh, motor. That's a lot I'm here for the last few hours. Firefanger, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I think we're going to run out of lube. Yeah, we're not going to finish this research that would let us get more water up here. Unfortunate, but we can. I should probably make sure I've got my combat stuff actually. Where did I put it? I don't really need these right now. I don't know, the uh, bio gun might be helpful. I'll pay a little rocket fuel to bring that downstairs. You know what, why don't I bring both of these while I'm at it. And where on earth did I put... here it is. Power armor things. I don't think it's a great idea to not have these things on me. Bad boy not so slim, thank you very much for the prime sub, much appreciated. Nine months. Fantastic. About time of the month for Prime, indeed. Nope, I am not here. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Twitch baby. Thank you very much, fat boy. Very much appreciated. Don't think I need to pick up this stuff, do I? No. And maybe I should bring up a bunch of cargo rocket sections so we can fly around with the space capsule. But then, there really isn't a point in visiting these places until I have like an outpost or something, right? Your water barrel assembler needs a 180. 
Water barrel assembly needs a one. Oh, yes, it does. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's put on our combat gear because we don't know where we're going to be landing. Wait, no, we need a battery. At least one battery so that the lasers can sometimes... Or one of the lasers can sometimes work properly, actually. I think it was like this. Don't you get something that can shoot small stuff up, like barrels, etc.? Uh, delivery cannon, yes, but we've just gotten started with space. Alright, let's go to Nalvis. And where are we? Quite close to our base, actually. Fantastic. Uh, and if we go to Nalvis orbit... We need cargo sections! No! I was going to bring some anyway, but still. Um... I don't have any gun turrets to leave behind. I can I can carry this with me, actually. That works. So what was it? 13 cargo rocket sections in order to get this thing back to orbit. If we're going to pay that much, maybe I'll just ride another cargo rocket up? Why are we not... Oh, you're joking. Okay. Um, I overfilled this and we can't fit the one slot to get the cargo rocket sections in. Can I maybe turn these around? And then pick up one of these. And because we don't have a storage of cargo rocket sections, uh, we're actually just way behind. Steel chest. That can actually only fit half of... a rocket worth of stuff, uh, worth of cargo rocket sections. So I'll make a bigger one, or maybe even bigger than that would be good. Uh, how about 256? Sure. I'll need to craft it first. Give me those personal logistics. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have just grabbed exactly what I needed to make the storehouse. Maybe it's not too late. What if I run out of the robot network? There we go. Fighter Friendo has come further to the left, I think. Alright, so we need 50 concrete, 50 steel, 50, uh, 25 steel beams. Give me that, please. Fifty steel. I don't want to carry any more than I have to. Actually, if we're going to use a cargo rocket to go back, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, that got built, actually. I don't recall ordering those to get built. But, okay. How about we make sure we have a few of these at all times? Uh, name in base? Sure. Bringer of deadlocks. Okay. 
Um, can I get some more chet pack in here? Let's grab some stone brick. And I think I will come back and let the bots autofill my inventory after this. Oh, too far. Do I have some way to put down floor that would make this more visible? I don't think so. I think we tried stone already, didn't we? Obviously, concrete or stone brick would be worse. Alright. Robots, do your thing. Hi Mike, how was the stream yesterday? Indeed. Ragathian, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Still charging? Oh, I don't have any bots. Well, there's your problem. Why is it so slow when I do this? Oh my goodness. Optimization. Go. And I need one more. Dead locks? What? How did that get there? There we go. Good morning, Yopo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, back to whatever it was we're doing. Biochemical facilities stopped at 69%. Nice. Let's put these weapons away for now. Actually, am I ever going to use the SMG? I think I'll hold on to... Thank you. I think I'll hold on to the cryo gun. And I'll stash the stronger weapons than we're able to make right now, right here. I might put that. Oh my goodness. Just let me swap them. There we go. Put that here for now. Alright, let's see how our cargo rocket sections are doing. We are up to 19. That's not a whole lot. Let's grab some speedies. What's the rate between these? Exactly one. Uh, one to one. And... This is already positive. This and this are already positive. Alright, so we sped that up by what? 40% actually. Can I make the better speed modules? Small electric, green and red. Give me the green and red. And put those back, please. Um, small electric motor is way back here. I 
need six of these, don't I? If I'm gonna bother. And back to small electric. The volume of small electric motors that get consumed by various recipes is kind of ludicrous. With K2 and or 0.6. Cryo gun you'll definitely never use. What? Cryo gun's really good. And if you accidentally fire it... Oh. I was gonna say if you accidentally fire it, nothing bad happens, but... I appear to have been proven wrong. Small electric motors on the bus? Yes, they are. are taking their time repairing this. Oh, I guess they're just not that fast. Yeah, here they go. Alright. That is 60% faster. Oh. Um, so I probably want to empty out some of this stuff. Probably quite a lot, actually. What are we likely to run out of first up there? Not iron, I think. And... and I want to bring a whole bunch of water and lubricant. That's quite a lot. We need... I was going to say we need less water than lubricant, but then maybe not. That's already full, actually. Um, how about... Iron plate, get out. Where's the iron plate coming in? I blocked it off. Oh, that's how much was buffered in here, I guess. Whoops. Uh, stone? This is very precise. You understand. Where is iron getting in? There's like one iron per second getting put into this thing, even though I turned this loader around. Oh, there's iron in here. That, yeah, that, that would make sense. You absolute dap. Uh, maybe this should be a filter inserter. Yellow to filter. If I'm going to shove things in there temporarily. Alright, let's clean out our inventory. Get some stuff delivered. Where's our logi bots? We do have them. Yeah, we've got 50 logi bots doing something. You know what? They're going to they're going to take 600 years to do anything with their current uh current tech and numbers and stuff.
weigh the rocket contents through a decider that checks for the rocket ready signal and you won't have this issue. Um, yeah. I don't particularly want to not load anything until the rocket is completely ready. I wouldn't have done the belt thing if this wasn't just throw it together early game kind of thing. I can do a much more refined design a bit later when we've got the bots to support it. Alternatively, just for the moment, I could go back with the space capsule. It costs cargo rocket sections though, that's why we're doing this. It feels like a waste. If we're going to use cargo rocket sections at all, it's way, 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 way more efficient to send up another cargo rocket. But we'll keep the next one empty until we decide what we're actually bringing up next time. I should probably attack the biters while we're waiting. Um, let's see. Get out of here, personal roboport. Uh, one laser here. Uh, we need one battery, and what was the other? Shields? Sure. Probably don't need, need all of this... SRF here either. I think I will... This will become a buffer chest later. How much is in here? 2.5k. Solid rocket fuel. We're gonna stop putting it in at 2k. And in future there would be room to drop this back in there. For the moment... Oh, I can handcraft this. That'll work. Nice and quick. For the moment, I'm just going to do this. And I think we're ready to attack the biters. I think I do want to try out destroyer capsules. We'll get those soon. Because I've never really played with them at the stage of the game where they're relevant. Or, I mean, they're always okay, but never at the stage where they're, like, ahead of the curve, shall we say. May as well bring all the Defender Capsules. May as well bring all of the, uh, fuel. I might grab the Bloat Burst Gun. Put this away for now. Wait, what? That's my inventory. You absolute dub. And actually, that can maybe go there. Where'd the railgun go? There it is. Alright, let's see what we can do. Away we go. The follower robots? Yeah, the uh, top tier follower robots. Unless, um... Nope, SE and or K2 doesn't add anything. A, a new type of follower bot. Hey, Captain True. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where are our first targets? Uh, all the way over here, past the water. Okay then. Past this water. 
I didn't know you could click on the map to bring up the map. I still prefer the shortcut key. Defender got bots go burn. Let's try the bloke burst gun. Oh wow. That seems to be working pretty well. Are we going to more or less one-shot each uh, Biden nest? Light burst. Sure seems that way. I don't want to walk in there and get myself and all the bots destroyed. I want to see how far it'll spread with one shot though. Okay, there are limits. It seems like it's kind of like a mini nuke as far as we're concerned. is still going, actually. And one, two. I think it only fired once. Oh, careful. Yeah, the collateral from the bloke burst gun can be pretty rough. Like if this guy got close to us. Melee biters get you if you're using the thruster pack? Yes. Yeah, there's no actual altitude in this game. It just sort of pushes you to the north a little bit. You can't fly over the biter spit uh, that worms normally give either without falling out of the sky from taking damage. scared of the bloke burst than the biters. Oh, what's that? One of those underground spawner things. On to the next one. Don't really need bloke burst for this. Fantastic. I think that's everything up to here. So now this is getting cleared this evening. Uh, I don't think we're at that scale just yet. It's still a lot of work to clear out a big area, but we can claim a whole lot of territory with very small bottlenecks to defend, relatively. Oh my goodness. I take back everything I said about fast fighters.
Light burst is a bit inconsistent depending on how it infects things. we gone. Possibly too far. Oh, that's dangerous. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Definitely want to finish off this nest before these bots die. So where are we right now? I think I wanted to go to here and here, so that's actually not too far yet. How's our cargo rocket looking? 62%. Nice. Let's throw out some more bots. Reach nuke fighters yet? No, they don't show up for a while. I would hope that I would be able to clear Nalvis before we get nuke fighters, but that might be a little bit optimistic. Is going to be regenerative. Look, I kind of want to see how strong the bloat burst is against. Oh, these are regenerative fighters. And the answer is yes. Well, some of them are regen fighters. ammo we've gone through. 30... uh, 28 percent of our first of two stacks. That's not that bad. Considering how much use it's been. Stand somewhere safe. Cargo rocket is at 67%. I don't remember what it was before. But it looks like... We can expect... Uh, what, 15 minutes or less till this will be done? We can go back to space. Bringing signs this time? Yeah, that's the idea.
Actually, I could probably adapt what I've built so far with the cargo rocket. And have a bit of a precise load system. Did I come back with... Oh, I should have brought back the request chests from in orbit. That would definitely have helped. I'm pretty sure one or two of the requester chests I'm using at the moment are relatively unimportant. I could borrow those. Probably the most efficient way to do it. Just wait till the carnage ends and then come back. Rampant, but no biter expansion, so it's arguably a side grade for biter difficulty. I just didn't want to have to spend 600 years clearing Nalvis like last time, even with armies of spiders. When we kill a spawner, we know it's gone. Monty Ponty, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. My first CME, I am very excited. Good luck. What have you got prepared for it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't have heals on the hotbar. In fact, I don't have any heals. Let's, uh... Let's maybe back off after this one. I don't want to have to drive up here. Let's head back. 
We've got like a dozen or 20 or so nests to clear out. Till I get this huge chunk of land. Jason, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm also doing K2SE run and I'm close before space, but I'm afraid of the circuit logic stuff. Anything in particular? Do you know a comprehensive guide or something that teaches me most important setups? Uh, I wouldn't say it's comprehensive or the best, but it, it's definitely a good start if you check out the circuit cookbook. Um, it'll definitely show you enough to give you some of your own ideas as well. Much appreciated, you're welcome. Undead Hunter, name and base, okie dokie. On the wiki? Uh, yeah, I believe it is on the wiki. Uh, let me just paste that in for you. Did I mess that up? I think I accidentally added a bracket. I would say try to launch a rocket first solo. Solo. Uh, anyway, where are we? We are 86%. I thought it would be ready by now. Or maybe I just underestimated or overestimated how much time I was out there for. The different coloured biden nests do make it a bit harder to spot them on the map. Okay, so I was thinking we could have... a constant combinator to describe how much of each thing we should have. We'll express that as a negative so that we can have just each of these is less than zero. And then if anything goes positive, we'll use a filter inserter to take it out. Uh, let's do a chest. Why do I not have chests? Give me some chests. Uh, probably just steel chests. I can handcraft the others. Let's go grab some. I want to bring some science with me. How many requester chests did I leave up here? Four. And four buffers, which is sort of the same thing. And a purple. That would have been very useful for what I'm about to work on. Give me those chests. Fantastic. I'll take the passives and stuff. Storages as well, why not? Um, I need some inserters. I've already got some inserters, actually. Alright, we're gonna have... I'll just use a regular chest for the moment. Where, where is this? There we go. Uh, I, I forgot the constant combinator. Let's do that. So we're going to say set filters whitelist. Space capsule. We need to remove. There were 
there's only ever going to be a count of one here. For some reason there's a count of more than one here. What the hell? Let's connect our green wire here. Space capsule is set to one. There should be a... Oh, there is one space capsule in there. That's odd. Oh, I think I know what happened. Less than zero. Perfect. We want one space capsule, one cargo rocket section. Uh, sorry, a hundred. So I'll go negative 100. And we'll go cargo rocket section less than zero. On this one. Uh, I'll do some other combinators. So we have some options that we can turn on and off for what we're loading into the cargo rocket. But the things that we're going to want every time are one space capsule, one cargo rocket. Are the bots bringing these? Yes, they are. I'll make these passive providers. For the lube and the water barrels. Those are in the robot network, yes. Alright, so lubricant. Say 500. Water barrel. 500. Uh, what do we have here? Blue circuit glass. What was this set to? 2000? I know we went a bit overboard with this stuff though. Glass was 2000. Probably more than we need. I mean, the idea is it's all more than we need. Uh, solid rocket fuel. Am I going to set these to less than zero? So we can change the values at the constant combinator. Um, and we can also have whatever's excess in here removed. Uh, LDS 2K. Heat shield. 2K. Uh, big and small electric motors. Probably shouldn't be 5k. Probably. And we're ready to launch. Fantastic. Plastic, red circuits. those to less than zero. Or maybe I could set them to like less than negative t no. If there was another s if we had an inserter that could put these in at the same time, I'd set them to like less than negative ten or something and have the inserter do the last of it. I can actually change all of these ahead of time. So we have uh, 
Processing unit glass, solid rocket fuel, LDS heat shield, big and small electric motors, red circuits plastic, iron copper steel. And stone. And that's it. Alright. So this should be removing any of the excess. What have I set these to? I've dropped the numbers on quite a few of them actually. Just don't forget the science packs. Yes. Um, oh, I haven't connected this yet. Whoops. We may have unloaded a little bit too much of something. Like heat shield, for example. How many stacks is all this? Um, 20... 20... 20 plus 10 plus uh, 100, that's a lot, plus um, 40, plus 10 stacks, is plastic 100 or 200? It's 100. Plus 20 stacks, 320, uh, and then we've got 10, 10, and 10, and 20. I think I may have gone a little too far in the other direction, that should only be 370 stacks. Also, this might have to be a stack filter insider. Also, I really wish we could set stack size based on the signal for whatever filter it's picking up, but alas. That should get it pretty close eventually. It's going to take a while, actually. I could add another one of these, or even more. Alright, how optimistic are we going to be with how much science we take up? Let's get rid of these Defender capsules, for starters. Defender capsules... what? Probably don't need to carry this much processed fuel right now. Base is getting kind of big. Oh, that's not even connected? What the hell? I thought it was set filters whitelist. Or did it have those filters... And it was set filters whitelist. I think that's how that works. Okay. Are we going to end up going back and forth? Like, are we going to go over a 1k stone and then the inserters are going to pick some up and then it goes... No? Seems okay. Maybe it was because they were picking up other things, but maybe it'll sort itself out regardless. Alright, let's go grab some science. Oh, I meant to put the barrels in here as well. Are they... They're gonna pick up the barrels if I don't connect this. We want up to 500 of each. And 
how about we go for 10 stacks of each science. Or how about we look at exactly how far we can go on just this type of science. Okay, that's a lot. We're not doing that yet. 10,000? Oh, sorry, not 10,000. Um, 2,000. 2,000's not that much. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of research to do. Um, I should make a whole other rocket specifically for these data cards. Or maybe even... It, it'd be sort of wasteful, but not really in the long run. If we have one cargo rocket for each type of data card, that's going to be by far the simplest to automate. How many stacks do we have? Uh, 74? And this is 10, 20, 30, 40. Should be able to fit all those. Except then the... And these things are going to want all the data cards. Actually. Wait, why the hell... Why is the search like this? Allow all the data cards, please. And connect. And did we already pick up some of those cards? We did. Whoops. Uh, well, those belong somewhere else anyway, but still. Oh, my inventory. Alright, data cards, whoops. Where, what did I just put? I think it was a gun, and I think one of the stack inserters should have picked it up. There it is. Oh, I don't even need an SMG at this point. Let the bots deal with it. Alright, data cards. We have 2k of each. We've still got um, 34 stacks remaining. I think I'll cut down a bit on glass. And we'll take another... What was that? 10 stacks. I think I made room so there would be room for at least 40. And I keep forgetting it's down here. Fantastic. Three point eight K? What? Oh, did we run out of we ran out of space, just barely. Uh remove one more stack of something. Why is there ninety glass in here somewhere? Alright, so that's 4k science of each type. I wonder if we're bringing enough lubricant. Let's get rid of the stone for now. I can actually code in an exception just like this by giving it a positive. Since we're doing whitelist to take stuff out. Let's grab some more water and lubricant.
I'm not sure how much I should do of each. Probably something like this. Oh, and I can fill up my inventory with whatever as well, since it's a cargo rocket. Alright, let's... what do we got? 20 stacks? 1, 2, 3, 4... 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. Four types of data card we need to pick up here. So we'll take five stacks of each. And that puts us up to uh, 5,000. 5,000 of each size. I think that'll be good for a start. Let's get in the rocket. And head on up. And away. Well, wait, wait a minute. Now this orbit landing pad. That's going to be a lot more effective. Unless we get our 1% fail chance. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Won't all your research be done in space now? Uh, yes. K2 said something about not needing more basic cards for endgame. Is that still to come? Uh, no, I think we've already surpassed basic cards. Alright, um, I might need some more chests, so let's keep this simple. Red, green, blue, yellow. I should have brought Logibots. It's fine. Yellow. And yellow. We haven't actually run out of the colored sciences here yet. Oh, I ran out of... No, I didn't. And blue. I think that's it. Let's grab the barrels. Shift C. Uh, do we not have lubricant barrels? We do not. Okay. Water barrel. And I think we're going to need a bigger chest. Nope, we're fine. Might need another chest for output. What the? There we go. There's still basic card researchers left. Only a couple? Is there? Not that I can see. I really need to get started on the rail base down on Nalvis. But have we put everything here to keep this in motion for a while? I should probably give it more small electric, steel plate, and so on. In fact, why don't I just do a chest for each of those? Small E electric. Steel plate LDS. Steel plate. Uh, what's this? Stone processing unit and rocket fuel. I don't want to run out of doing science while I'm on the ground and there's still stuff up here that could have gone into our lazy science build. Uh, is that really all the blue circuits? We only need one. 
get each of these, so it's probably not as big a deal. Also, considering the stack sizes, I think we're going to run out of stone first. Did I... I thought I brought half as much stone, or did I remove it all? That may have been a derp. What have we got here? 1.3k stone. Uh... Oh, no. It's actually five stone for five science packs, so... We're getting exactly this many science packs before we do another resupply. <laughs> Tragedy. Do we have delivery cannons? Uh, we actually do. Okay. That might be the way to go. For the foreseeable future. I was trying to get biochemical facility so that we could get the ice up here, but we're going to run out of stone anyway. Uh, the barrels are already set up as best we can. Don't tell me we're going to run out of... No, we're not going to run out of water because we do have the biochemicals facilities. Uh, I'm actually really glad we did focus on biochemical first. Recycle barrels and scrap. Uh, yeah, that is going to fill up. Oh, wow. Maybe faster than expected. Oh, we get stone sometimes from the scrap. We have recycling facilities. We do. Heat shielding, big electric. Recycle. Doop -a doop And LDS Space Assembler. Where did I put the space assemblers? Here they are. LDS Space Assembler Pump and Glass and even more LDS. They have pumps here somewhere. I thought. do have pumps here somewhere. Uh, where's my glass? There it is. Oh, I need to build it in one of these. That makes sense, I suppose. And we have one biochemical facility. I think we just need a regular mining drill. To get the ice. Where's my drill? We can always make some. Oh, we've got 47 here. And... You can condense steam to water. But... Don't tell me we need some research to melt the ice. Water ice processing. We actually do. Okay. That's our next target. Industrial Furnace. Cryonite. Water Ice Processing. 300 science all up. I guess... Couldn't I have just used the electric boiler the whole time? Wait, no, what was... Yeah. Yeah, you can actually use the electric boiler to turn a solid into a liquid. I didn't need to build this yet. But we did need it... We did need to go through that path to get to... Um, the ability... to use this. You have one cannon chest up there already? Yeah, I saw that. They're not difficult to make. 
You can handcraft them easily. Okay. Why don't we reorganize these a bit? Fantastic. Not sure where that other stuff went, but that's okay. We're definitely running out of space science because stone long before we run out of cards. Uh, we should have enough to unlock some basic stuff that'll change the game a bit. Vulcanite processing. I don't actually have any vulcanite yet. Do we get it from coal mining? Still? Destroyer's 350. I'm very tempted. Cryonite lubricant. 10 cryonite slush, 1 heavy oil. Interesting. Automation 3 might be handy. It's kind of, kind of a luxury at this point. Really, it's less... It's not research as much as I should be getting the infrastructure sorted out at this point, I suppose. Data card... Here we go. Production science pack and utility science pack. We can actually unlock those quite soon. 100 for this. Uh, this has another prereq. Another 100 for thermal radiator. Computer... Uh, what other prereqs do we have here? Thermodynamics facility. Alright, that's going to take a little while. Do I have any reason to still be here physically? I'm not sure. Let's put this over here. Why don't we have a look around in orbit and see what other resource... Oh, stone. Yes. What if we find a stone mine? That would be very helpful. Alright, I think that's probably far enough in this direction. Pink pajamas. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Making sure that you can pipe in the water from the water ice patch. Uh, we've already got free space pipe and I can make space pipe. So that's fine. Methane ice. I thought this was stone for a second. What a tease. We did have a stone patch um, with our first game that was very, well, it was, wasn't just close, it was right next to the satellite. But at the very least, I can go collect these rocks. We'll get a few hundred more signs out of that by itself. Why am I down to eight life support canisters? Uh oh. Oh yeah, I don't have bots right now. Um, I'm not concerned about battery at this point. I still don't have any bots though. I left them back this way, I think. Give to me my robots, please. Robots. Fantastic. Uh, what's our life support down to? One hour. Even with four of these? 
That's surprisingly low. Can I speed up and then use this? No rocks here. I don't know if that's how that works. Here we go. 352. That's 352 space science. Effectively. Self and Cell, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Vintage Story. That sounds cozy. El Gosso. Jitterbug. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are you all doing? Rainbow Tea Kitty. Welcome, welcome. Do I have any more stone over here? Yes. Zane, welcome to you also. We are currently scrounging up stone in Nalvis Orbit because we're at the very early stages of orbital base stuff and I've got the laziest possible setup for space science. Um, where we're manually feeding it resources and it turns out that of all the things I brought up to get a whole lot of space research done uh, stone is the thing that we are running out of space indeed Noxy Wake excuse me Noxy Way Gaming good to see you guys Welcome, welcome, also. Uh, yeah, I don't... I think this is quite far enough to personally fly out to grab some stone. Unfortunately, we didn't find a stone mine. Oh. Give it to me. All of the stone, please. Fantastic. How long to space elevator? At least seven minutes. My bots are falling behind. Get over here. I'll have a look at this rock. And I just realized it doesn't look like we're going to have any sacred space trees this run. That's unfortunate. We'll miss them. Alright, so we came back with... Uh, like, what, 750 stone or so? In the present context, that translates to 750 space science packs. Bilbo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why don't you deliver cannon... Why don't we use Deliver Cannon to have the stone? We will. We're just getting started still. I just wanted to throw a bunch of stuff together so we get the first several thousand uh, research done. And then we'll have some more toys to play with. Get whatever little quality of life research is out of the way from early space science before we actually set up a base. Like, uh, cargo rocket safety, reusability, and so on, for example. I don't know, maybe I will go cargo rockets. On the other hand, meeting the scale of one cargo rocket for each resource is a bit much at this stage.
You must research space elevator first, but that's literally impossible. Stone goes in here, fantastic. We have 1.9k research left up here. And now we're going to steal some stone from this side. You have to do some cargo rockets, but it's insane to do dedicated resource rockets. The thing that makes that not quite true is it is just so much easier than doing multi-rockets. You don't even need any um, signal transmitters or receivers. The rockets just magically know when the cargo, uh, cargo rocket landing pad that they're pointing at is empty. So if you just send one resource at one cargo landing pad, uh, it's very, very, very easy to deal with. Probably easier than train stations, honestly. Of course, um, it'll take a bit longer for the first cargo rocket to get sent. But it, I think even with little to no research on cargo rocket safety, reusability, and so on, I'm pretty sure it works out to be more resource efficient than delivery cannons. Factorio is a magic game, indeed. So many instructions on what you really should do, so little time, right? Alright, is that... No, there's, there's still some more stone to pick up. We'll probably come back with another thousand space science packs worth of stone. Why am I burning my fuel? I don't need to. I can just coast. I love that running animation. I was kind of sad they changed it for the jetpack. So you're not just running in the air. Is there something over here, stone-wise? Yeah, there is. We got another meteor. That's in Nalvis orbit. Delivery can and speed cargo rockets until you're basically at space elevator tech. Not sure about that one. Delivery cannon only gives one stack and it costs... A, a, a delivery cannon capsule only gives one stack and it costs a significant amount to send it. And you have to pay for the energy on top of it. In one way or another. Alright, so we we're coming back with what? 764 stone, I think. How's our research queue? Not quite enough to justify queuing up more yet. We actually filled our first cargo rocket with resources twice. Surprisingly easy with the starter base that I've built. Um, this thing has performed better than expected, to be honest. I would have expected more bottlenecks by now. Um, but what I really want to do right now is clear more space, uh, get some rail block uh, base building going. And the research in space can slowly happen while we're doing that with the hand-fed stuff. I need to clear a few more biter nests, and once I've done that, I can capture a huge area with minimal... Um, minimal defenses. Alright, am I taking anything back downstairs? I don't think so. 
Oh, did we make the recycling facility? Yeah, we did. Uh, it doesn't need to go anywhere in particular. But let's put it here. Scrap. Get out of here. Recycle. Scrap recycle. It's going to make heavy oil. Uh, we do need that to make lubricant, but we're not going to run out of lubricant anytime soon. Do we have storage for fluids? We should. That's not what I'm talking about. There's the bigger storage tanks. These ones are 50k. I could make the 200k ones, but I think 50k is probably going to be enough. That should be able to... That should be able to eat up all of our scrap uh, quite easily, actually. And let's do some output chests. Oh, there's actually rare metals as opposed to what coal. Let's do some filter inserters. Iron. Copper. Stone. Rare, raw, uh, raw, rare metals. Fantastic. That'll get rid of our scrap. Lipvine, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should probably build a, what is it called? Uh, the thingy what charges our robo ports. Oh, I don't have any battery, that's why it's like this. Never mind. Alright, I think it's about time to go uh, back downstairs. Is there anything I want to bring back down for some reason? I don't think so. Yeah, I... I think I'd rather keep the fancy space belt in space. Is there anything we can make already that we can only make in space that we would want on the ground? I don't think there is. Um, I should probably get this stone automatically supplied. To where it needs to be. So how about something like this? Fantastic. Raw red metals. Well, I don't think we're going to need that much storage space for stone, but I guess it doesn't hurt. Are we ready to go back? Probably. Let's shift C this. Oh, shift C takes into consideration your requests. No, I don't have any requests for steel plate, for example. Oh, this is full. Oh, I've got 66 of this. This would fit in here. So I guess Shift-C doesn't want to drop that in there. What are we missing? S uh, solid rocket fuel. Glad I didn't leave just yet. Although I could have used picket dollies to fix that remotely, actually. That would have been fine, I think. Uh, don't tell me we're out of water. No. No, please don't tell me we're out of water before we can melt ice. That would just be too sad. We've got 3.1k cosmic water just sitting in this output here, actually. And we need one cosmic water per five 
space science packs, so no, we're going to be fine. There's actually enough cosmic water, yes, quite a lot, actually. Indeed. Science has already stopped? When did it stop? It's fine. Alright, I guess we're going back to clearing out some biters. We've got 26 heavy oil of 50k. I think that's going to be fine. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and I'm going to leave most of this stuff behind. But not all of it, actually. I don't feel like bringing all that back together when I get back. Oh, wait. Does this cost more fuel? Hold on. I need my solid rocket fuel. Lolilo. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fuel 23. And I bet if we put some of this stuff away... Yeah, it actually does reduce the fuel cost. Alright, so we're going to leave all of this up here. Anything combat relevant or a little bit of kind of convenience, quality of life, I'm going to keep on me. Leave the space ass mash up there, indeed. Space ass mash. Bot cheats? Bot chests. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to bring back the requester chests. Here we go. Give me those. Well, not the storage chests. We can already make those. How long until we get Logi? Network. What? Logistic. Here it is. We need utility science packs. Oh, here it is. We're actually able to unlock utility science packs now. How do we make them? Oh, they spit out junk data cards and they need thermofluid and they need machine learning data and... Oh, my goodness. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I think this... So it seems like... They made the space science packs much easier, but then they added these utility science packs and... Where was the other one? Uh, production science packs. They're about the same difficulty as what the first space science pack used to be. Yeah, it's a whole build. Indeed. Utility production and optimization cards. I was just wondering what optimization cards are used for. Used for. Are they just like a prerequisite? Optimization tech card. Probably. Or maybe they go into the science labs. Whatever the case, uh, let's see, we have our power armor things, we have ammo, we have the special chests. I don't want to take more than one stack of this because fuel costs. I do want to take the first aid kits back because we're not going to be using them up here. I should definitely make sure I have more uh, life support canisters next time I come up here. And I think that's pretty much it. I think we're good for now. Oh, we got how many? Uh, 23 cargo rocket sections were recovered. And I don't think we've even done... Rocket reusability too yet. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go back to Navas.
down we go. And we land in the middle of our base. Well, not really the middle of our base, but that's fine. Uh, we don't need the life support right now. I want combat things, so one jetpack, one laser, one battery, a couple of shields. And a whole lot of processed fuel. Where be the processed fuel? Here we go. Let's drop off these fancy chests. And I'm sure I'll have a remote use for them relatively soon. Can we get... Okay, we've got thousands. I want to make sure I get water ice processing done. Uh, come to think of it, I should have placed... I should have placed space pipe so that we could get the... Uh, so that I could just change the recipe here once we can melt the ice. Because I'm going to have to go up there. But it's not going to be a problem until we run out of cosmic water. So we're going to get another, what, 15,000? We're going to run out of stone first. That's fine. Um, What was I saying? Oh yeah, I wanted to maybe get destroyer capsule researched. Can we do that next after the water ice instead? What does this require? We can make that on the ground, right? Lithium sulfur battery. I don't have those yet. I'll ignore that for the moment. So we'll head towards like production science packs and or utility science packs. How do I get this? Okay. Let's go kill some fighters. We have like... I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Big 11, 12, 13, 14. We've got like 20 to 30 bases to clear out, and then we can take this massive area with very little area to defend it. Or I could ignore it for a little while and start doing rail blocks down here. But we've got way more resources up this way. It, once I take this area, I'm not going to have to expand to get a specific resource again for a long time. Let's get it done. Where are my defender capsules? Shouldn't they be near the ammo? Yeah, here they are. Alright, away we go. It's actually gotten to the point where 
The travel time is significant. I should have swapped out jetpacks, but we're kind of getting close. Alright, here we go. I didn't even see those ones. And bloke burst gun. It actually works best when there's biters there as well. I should probably hit and run, yeah. The bloke burst gun remains dangerous to me as well for quite a while, so I should do a flyby and then move on and just attack another base, come back to it to clean it up. Xenox, thank you for the follow. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fantastic. Yeah, that was much more effective. But I saw a blip over here. I guess it's gone now. I can pretty much ignore them. That's a lot of worms. Let's get 30 and float gun time. Maybe I shouldn't go this way. Those are biters on the map, they've already moved. Okay. That's a lot of worms. Okay, okay, do not underestimate the small ones. Let's tidy up this base while the light burst is doing its thing over there. Okay, that was a bit risky. That was a bit silly. That's what that euphemism means. Okay, where are we going? Almost finished with these two bases. Not quite.
fantastic. Alright, so this space over here. It's kinda of, looks kinda of more sporadic spread out than most of them on the map. Sparse, that's the word I was looking for. I sort of wish it wouldn't show the hit points of the rocks like that. Does it look like there's uh, more relevant things? That have been hurt. How's our research coming along? 40% on water ice, 41%, fantastic. Alright, let's assess. gotta go all the way down here as well but other than that everything we need to clear still fits on this screen i think we're going to have it cleared well before our research is done at this rate Taking damage right now. It's fine. Just lots of pieces of wall. And they're just getting scratched. See where we're at. We pretty much cleared this whole area. That's just ghost blips. We've got like a dozen more nests to clear. Ice is 60%. Why do I keep falling? No, I've still got jetpack fuel. Oh, there's uranium. Wait, did I pick up uranium? No, I think I just flew over it. Yeah, we're fine.
Oh, I've only got two parts. Here we go. Those were the two that I fired later than the rest to make sure that I wouldn't have zero. Maybe I should do like 15 at a time. As in, have 30 out, but have their cooldowns not all completely overlap. Their lifetime duration, that is. Ow. 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 Did all my bots just die? That was irresponsible of me. Alright, 15. And we'll wait like 10 seconds. And throw out another 15. There's actually a lot more biters here than it looks like because of the trees. A lot more nest. I should have been a bit more aggressive, I guess. Akira DK. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are they any good when evolution gets above 90%? Uh, are we talking about the defender bots? Definitely not. No, we're running out of time to be able to make use of the defender bots. Destroyer bots? I'm not sure exactly how long they're good for. Well, the thing is, you can get a much higher bot count later on, so there's that as well. But to, to really get a lot of efficiency out of them, there's a limited time only. Let's head over to the east. Float first time. And we'll move on to another base while that stuff keeps exploding. And back up we go. Offensive landmines, thanks for that image. Yeah, just toss them out like frisbees. Alright, what's next? These ones... We've almost got the coveted melting of ice technology. Oh, oh crap, 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 crap. No, 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 no. I think I fired a... I... Okay. In a lot of games, space is jump. And when I panicked a little, I pressed space. And I put more bloat burst under my feet. When... We, we don't want any bloat burst under our feet, actually. Zero. Zero is the amount of bloat burst that we want under our feet, as it turns out. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Alright, I don't want to use the car like I did last time. Let's just make another thruster suit. It's not that difficult or expensive. Oh, 
Rip indeed. Alright, so thruster suit. LDS, RCU, glass heat Aziz, shielding. Light. As is light. Make a power armor way better than the suit for killing biters. It doesn't make a difference as long as we've got shields up. Um, it's only the damage reduction that's different. Uh, and while the shield's up, it, the damage reduction doesn't count. We're actually creeping towards that massive amount of hydrogen where we would start to vent some of it. Alright, so we needed glass, uh, rocket control unit, LDS heat shielding, and jetpack. Pipe steel EC. ECs are looking a little bit slow. Just a tad. Uh, heat shield LDS. Oh, we need a life support. God damn it! That is a slight nuisance. Twenty LDS, ten RCU. That's all of that. And I just need to make a life support. What do we need for life support units? Big electric motor, pipe, coal. Should have picked up Big Electric while I was there. Have you got military signs upstairs? Nope. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Uh, in that case, let's continue with these other prerequisites. And let's knock out cargo rocket stuff. Now I just need some coal, and a few pipes. And we can't handcraft this, we have to go to a life support facility. This one is nev never actually being used right now, so I'll do that. Life support facility... Need how many pipe? Ten pipe. Fantastic. This is probably quicker than if I drove the car there immediately. I should make some more jetpacks as well. More EC, more pipe. Where, where, where's my EC? Normally you would find it at red circuits, but... Oh my goodness. We're super bottlenecked on copper. All the more reason I should be getting a better... Getting some rail block base going. We've got this huge area once I kill a few more nests, and then we have some rather small defensive walls to add. Alright, electronic circuits, give them to me, please. Oh, did I get my thruster suit already? Fantastic. This is probably enough jetpacks, to be honest. And I'll take defender capsules as well. 
Uh, we're going to need some fuel. That's in about the same place. To be fair though, the modular armor flies pretty damn fast with four jetpacks. Uh, this is true. Yeah, it's actually great how strong just the Mark 1 jetpack is. Alright, I think we're ready. There's health kits on the corpse. Not that many, but enough. I just hope I'm not overdoing my inventory space. I could put a bunch of these in logistic trash. That should be fine. Now let's watch where we're going before we run into a bunch of biters. Down south. There's not even enemies where I died. Because <laughs> it was pretty much a self-own. Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Uh, there was a little nest up here still. Let's get that out of the way. Actually, before we do... Float first... Float first, and furthermore, float first. Give it time to stop being a danger to ourselves. That looks like an expansion. I don't think it is an expansion. Soften this one up. Fantastic. I think we're getting close to done here. We should be able to support laser turrets now, actually. And if we can't, uh, there should be more than enough solar panels to throw out. Or I could do a remote wall that powers itself. It's probably a good idea. to go, I believe. I have another stack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or do I? Hmm. I had a fraction of a stack that I knew I would have to manually put down here. Or maybe because I picked up my corpse that got loaded. So that might actually be the end of the bloat burst. I think it was pretty well spent. I'm curious about the Cryonite actually damaging stuff. Oh my goodness! No wait, I think that was the bots killing it. Even so. This is 
more useful when you're under attack and you can create a wall out of nowhere. That doesn't matter if the biters destroy it or anything. We can also freeze the worms, so there's that. They're gone. So many little ones. They're so small. Taking just a little longer to clear out these nests without the float first spin. Good thing there's only a few left. As far as we're concerned. That's a lot of fighters. I guess. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's get our bots back up to count. And the spiral titans. And Seafaya, uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. We really are creeping towards the end of uh, Defender Capsules being particularly useful. So if we'd taken much longer to secure this area, it would have been a lot more difficult. Poison Capsules would help? Yeah, I don't usually use those. I don't know, they're just not my style. Like... Mine, uh, flying over and dropping mines on top of the nests works as well, but to some degree it's pres uh, preference. Creeping? Indeed. So many unseen enemies behind the trees. Including nests. Alright, did we get them? I think we got them. Well, when we start building, we're going to get a rude awakening if we didn't get them all. Um... For the moment... I will use gun turrets, but I'll automate laser turrets. So that we can...
get ahead of the curve again. It's the big dog. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. On one, one on the right side, one nest. Where are we? Oh, this one? Yeah, I see it. Okay. Not going to use flamers? I think we have flamers. Yeah, we do. And yes. But flamers can't do it all. I don't think we particularly need flamers for defense just yet. And the nearest oil is there, actually. Also, oil is finite now, so that's something to consider. Okay, let's automate laser turrets. Uh, that's actually more than I expected. Quartz, glass, steel plate... I could steal the quartz and glass from here. Something like this. And have the bots bring the rest. Lazy builds. Actually... I don't know, with the overall throughput of this, maybe I'm not delighted with that. Quartz glass, EC, steel, battery, small electric. Quartz glass. Electronic circuits are on this half belt. I guess I could bring them from the bus. I don't want to bust quartz. That's not. There's not a whole lot of stuff that goes into. Hmm. Steel, EC, battery, small electric. Batteries are like over here. Hang on, how many bus things is this? It's all bus except for quartz. But the batteries are produced upstream from the quartz. I could just drag the batteries back here. I think that might be the way to go. Why is there a single piece of belt on this belt? That's a little weird. I could move this underground a bit. I could put this like here. And it would be relatively easy to... Or I could leave that as is and add one more piece of belt like this. Wait, no, that's wrong. We need an inserter taking glass. So that's quartz glass. We need one, two, three, four main bus items. So two belts. I'm just going to use this to plan it out. I think this will be... Well, we need to send the batteries backwards. I think we'll squeeze it through there. So much spaghetti. Oh, that just reaches. Perfect. And then... Something like... Let's get some undergrounds here. 
make it easier. Something like this. Uh, how about batteries and does it matter which is which? Kinda. Not that much. How about batteries and small electrics? Like so. That's a good fit. That was easy. And then we want this coming up here. And that's kind of awkward. I guess we'll do it like that. And last we need steel plate and EC. I think we'll do it like this, perhaps? Well, not quite like that. We need one of these contraptions again. Electronic circuit is going to go here. Fantastic. Bots are already doing that. Oh, I can't fit this the way I thought I could. Um, you saw nothing. That didn't happen. Don't worry about it. It's fine. And here. Alright, so we finally spaghettied together some laser turrets. Let's make that a passive, actually. Give it some power. And once we actually get some electronic circuits, here they come. What's the playtime on this save? Uh, I don't know. Two days, three hours? You can get oil when you process core fragments. This is true. Technically, we've got core fragment processing, but... I don't want to bother with it until I've got a rail network. Alright, I want... Let's say up to 100 laser turrets. No, oh, I should go further than that. Up to 400 laser turrets ready to go. If this goes on long enough. Particle Live, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do I have... I could get this copper as a short-term stopgap. It'd be a bit of a pain to belt it over. I think I kind of have to. I think I'd rather build some defensive walls up here first. Rather than, like, making a hole in the wall here, or maybe moving the wall forward. So let's do that. Um, I won't bother with the laser turrets yet. We'll just come back when there's lots of them. And upgrade our defenses that way. Stone, get out of my inventory, please. Fantastic. Uh, taking plenty of defenders. Gun turrets. I spaghettied them in here. That's only 50. Um, I definitely want more than 50. I mean, currently our walls are usually fine when they're like this far apart, but that's not going to last for too much longer. Oh, 
Oh well, it'll have to do for now. Let's get ourselves a whole bunch of walls. There should be some in the car. And I think I'll take solar panels and accumulators. Oh yeah, gun turrets need rifle mags. Minor detail. There's actually no walls in here. Alright, we'll leave that for now. We do have walls automated somewhere, but I think that was only the old spaghetti base. But there should be a lot of them accumulated. Well, that's a start. 1.4k. How much is this if we don't double it? 333. Uh, I take it back. 1.4k is more than a start. We could do double thick walls easily. Okay. Let's go pick those up. That'll do. So we have ammo, gun turrets, walls, inserters, belts. I don't have the solar panels or accumulators. Uh, whoops. I can put... I can't actually put the rifle mags easily into my trash slots. How about the stone walls? And I'll pick up... A bunch of solar panels and accumulators. I'll definitely need more than 34 medium poles. Let's grab a few more of those. Medium poles. And substations as well. Uh, and big poles. That should probably do it. Don't have a whole lot of belt either. Can I... Should I shift C? Probably. Alright, we don't need fast belt for this. Um, give me that, and give me that. Got a bunch of crap in my inventory. Don't want to spend too much time sorting it out, though. I'd rather make sure we don't run out of belt. Oh, the bots actually took away my walls surprisingly quickly. Where did they go? This is the only storage chest, isn't it? Yeah, here it is. Um... Now what? Now what? Give me the walls. Put them in trash, take the mags, and... Nope, not like that. Oh god, what did I just do? Get rid of the coal. Give me the mags. Fly away as quickly as possible. That should be fine for now. That's our research. We can pick two. Ooh, we can knock off utility science pack. Can I knock off production yet? Not quite. We're still waiting on... I'm not sure what prerequisite is missing here. Actually. Is it Vulcanite processing? I think it might be. More room in the turret box, yeah. 
Wait, did I leave the gun turret limit at 50? Well, we'll be moving on to laser turrets, it's fine. Okay. Um, I'm also going to have to pick up this creep. So, that's... Why do I have... Oh no, I have one heavy composite. Because of that accidental shift click. I don't suppose there, surprisingly, is somewhere we can just do a straight wall here. Not even close. Alright, so probably... Do I have cliff explosives? Would I want to use cliff explosives? Probably not. Um, let's put... I do wish control... Uh, shift click or control click or whatever would work with the ammo like that. Let's get ourselves a little... blueprint together. Do I not have bots? I do... Brief. Actually, I should be putting all this stuff in the trash. Should have done that before. Tree x-ray. Doesn't work on these trees. Wait, what? That... That's not the sound of cutting down a tree. <laughs> Uh, maybe like this, but double it? I think that's gonna work pretty well. Okay. More walls. Some turrets. Let's get them at least a tile back. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to run out of turrets if I do this many to start with, so we'll skip a few of them. And then belts, actually, keep the belts as far away from the biters as possible. Actually, I should plan for putting these turrets in. So that, but also this. Is this right? Yes. Okay. Let's get rid of those two turrets. Medium pole. Of course that doesn't reach. Maybe I should use subs. we have it like this, that'll reach across. How many subs do I have? 49 substations. I think we might run out. I, we're definitely going to run out of medium poles if I do that. Alright, we're just going to have to make another trip. Let's not cliff explode. We don't have the cliff explosives, and it would actually be bad for us anyway. Uh, let's get some bots going. Plastic plans, indeed. EC sounds so weird to me, I'll always just call them green chips. Uh, both are valid, I think. Uh, and how about... I was going to put the solar a bit further back, but we could maybe do a consistent pattern as well.
Unfortunately, we can't use snap to grid relative in this instance. Would these be covered? Should be way more than enough. Uh, what? We can't shift click to get rid of these trees. <laughs> these are some very special trees. I think they count as buildings. It's fine. As long as we have, like, some solar power. I mean, the if we're not adding laser turrets here, this is actually overkill for the solar. I think literally, like... One or two solar panels and an accumulator is going to be all we need. So let me just remove it from the copy paste. I should just stand on this belt. Nakahira, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we're going to have to manually remove all those trees. Good gravy. Can't really see where the blueprint goes now. Why don't we go ahead and get the ammo dispenser set up immediately. That seems like a good idea. Get this ammo out of my inventory as a bonus. Let's let the bots catch up. Uh, yeah, that wall is actually looking super precise for the angle, actually. Just run by... just ran by a log that stopped a turret being placed. Oh, I did? I did too. I th okay, logs as well? It's making the same pickup sound. I think this is probably because of the mod that lets us um, copy-paste trees and put them in blueprints. Well, we're just going to have to take the good with the bad with that. <laughs> it sounds so funny. That bot's quit blocking my... Oh my god. Yeah, and I can't use tree x-ray to see what we're doing either. I should check. I wonder if it's all of the trees now. Or if some of them behave normally still. Got no substations here. Or this one, actually. I guess I could just try clicking instead of shift clicking. That way we're going to know if we're going to miss anything. Alright, let's get this creep out of here. Get him out of here. I'm going to run out of inventory space because of the creep as well. Are we actually out of walls? No, we're not. Can you deconstruction planner them? 
No. No, I can't. Okay, there's something weird about these trees, I think. Let's look at other trees somewhere. No? 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 What about back at base? Yes, I can decon planter these trees. Yeah, it's, it's these trees that there's something weird about. That's wrong? As in I said something wrong, or that's just wrong? We're almost there. Alright, how many trees do I have to remove here? Quite a few. I need to remove the creep as well. Fantastic. Uh, Alt C, actually, not Alt D. My inventory is full. Oh, I can I can Alt D, but it's just gonna waste bot energy for no reason. Not being able to decon trees is wrong. <laughs> Chopping them down. Bugger chopping them down manually, nuke all the trees. Indeed. I can put walls on the creep. Interesting. Um, yeah, we don't need to destroy cliffs to make walls. Absolutely not. So it's just the belt that needs the creep removed, actually. And this belt is going to be ever so slightly different. Fantastic. Let's get some more defense over here. How's our ammo on the belt? Oh, it's just filling up slowly because I gave it a normal inserter. Oh, it's stuck back here, actually. Okay. Ammo... I couldn't even cut down the tree I was trying to there. Let's... Let's, let's ride the belt with the ammo. Make sure we get all the way to the end. I think we can queue up prod science now? No, we can queue up the prereq and nothing else. Not like this. Alright, let's run ahead, I guess. I will ride the belt through this part where there's trees, just to be sure. Did we build all those walls properly? Yeah, we did. Alright, looks like the ammo will reach the end of the belt. Um, we're not going to need the same angle, so I can't quite use this design again. We're down to 19 substations. How many laser turrets do we have by now, I wonder? 41, that's better than expected. That is significantly better than expected, actually, considering the rate of our copper and green circuits. Okay, um, I think I actually want a small wall here. And then, like, a 45-degree one here. That might be the easiest way to go about it. And then, bonus points, we get to ignore all this creep. Oh, I don't have... That's a good panic button. 
Um, I, I don't have any... Nope, 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 nope. Sit down. Efficiency. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I don't have any lasers on me right now. Personal defense lasers. Alright, nice cardinal direction. Easy peasy. You know what? We can afford more walls. That one's not going to help. Uh, let's get ourselves some turrets. Oh, I forgot I had bots. I'm sure we don't need this many. Let's skip like three each time. That doesn't work out. Let's skip two each time. Wait, no. I want a cons... Did I run out of yellow inserters? Oh, no. Are some of these ghosts? They're not. Did I... Did I precisely run out of yellow inserters? The moment that I got over here? What are the odds of that? 35. I have 36 uh, purples on me. We could use those. Blacklist nothing. And one up here. Get rid of these ones. Get rid of that one. Okay. Uh, I already gave away all my ammo, didn't I? Couple of substations. Oh my god, that was, that 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 was creepy. Okay, 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 okay. Was it that lot that are attacking? I think it was. Let's pay him a visit. Should probably put some combat gear on. I should probably put my RoboPod away. Are those lobsters? Yeah, those are regenerative biters. And they are tanky. I think I also included the mod, uh, Tanky Biters or something. But I think, um, I think Rampant alone gives you some of these as well. Let's use the Railgun. I don't want this to take 700 years. worms that haven't died yet. Should just target the spawners. Alright, did we get them? Is 
Is that going to be enough to keep them from attacking once they finish sending all these biters at us? Let's go grab some of that ammo. How much did I leave here? Not as much as I hoped. I'll set up a resupply with our little spaghetti train. Armored biters, yes. Alright, we need a chest. Need an inserter. We need all the ammo in here. A substation or two. And a couple of solar panels and accumulator. And just because that's going to chew through... How did that wall get destroyed? How did that wall get destroyed? I'm actually kind of concerned by that. Now, are any of them crawling around this side? No, we're good. So many hit points to chew through. The worms hit really hard as well. I think they one-shot... No, they almost one-shot our uh, defenders. Almost oddly relaxing. Why is my battery charge staying full when it looks like the personal laser is bottlenecking? Not using up ammo this way, indeed. Yeah, if you have um, defender capsules shooting the entire time they're alive, you get much better value for the ammo you put into them. just clear out these groups before they get sent and I think this base is probably far enough away that hopefully they won't constantly get sent to this turret at least not until we start giving them some pollution I'm probably getting too close and forcing some of them to spawn now that I think about it. Okay. How many turrets do I have left? Eight. That's not a whole lot. We've got so many laser turrets already, I could probably put a few in between the gun turrets. Let's get out of here. I'll have to fly back to get them first.
let's at least figure out our plan or, or our layout rather. I want it to be the most smooth diagonal as possible. Um, so maybe... Maybe like this. And... Thicken most of the walls. Uh-oh. And we'll have the belts like so. I don't think there's really another way to do it. I might move it back a bit so that we take advantage of this cliff instead of it being in the way. Let's get our bots back. Uh, let's keep our laser turret. muted. Whoops. Lots of accumulators to back them up to, or just expand the robo-network? I do not want to expand the robo-network up here. No. Uh, if I have a robo-network up here, it'll be a separate remote one. And we can get... Uh, that'll help us to sidestep bot attrition as well. Since if you have 50 or less in a network, there's no bot attrition. Alright, I'm just going to have to go back and hope it doesn't get attacked yet. But I can give these guys some ammo at least. I really should have included the inserters first. Whatever, let's... Let's go back and get what we need to finish this. I'm gonna swap this stuff out for more jetpack. Grab our butts. Fly back home. One of the belts in the trees didn't place. Okay. Need to go like 45 degrees, or rather southwest. Alright, so we're coming back with ammo, turrets, laser turrets, whoops, um, power poles, we've got enough walls. Where did I do that? There it is. 75 laser turrets. I was going to say what have we, we've run out of, but we're actually just bottlenecked on the speed of this machine. Which is fine. Um, holds. May as well get us extra stack of that. 
Let's go for three of these just to be sure. Gun turrets. Oh, I really should have increased that. 50 will be enough for now, I think. And let's get some proper ammo. Don't have a whole lot of room for it. Uh, shift C. And Shift C. Fantastic. Give to me all of the piercing rounds. And I think we're ready. Cool. Once we finish this, uh, we can really start... Uh-oh. 53, 56 entities are destroyed. It's all just wall and belt. Could be worse. That was rather quick. Inserters? Oh no. Oh no. I'll put the laser turrets down before I worry about that. We'll put like... a laser turret every other turret or something. Laser turret... I think that's probably enough for now. Hello. Ouch. We're gonna need some more power, of course. And we don't really have room to sort that out as is. We do have defenders. I'd rather not swap out my power on this stuff right now. That cliff is doing us favours. Shields. I don't need them if I'm not really, really careless against the regenerative fighters. Confidence? What is that? that don't work, use more gun. They can pass on the island in the middle of the lake? Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. Possibly. They didn't go this way, though. Alright, let's, uh, let's build this first. We'll worry about that in a moment. I guess we're going to use whatever inserters we've got for now. Why is this wrong? Oh no. Oh no. I'm going to have to change that everywhere, aren't I? Ammo. Substation. Probably here. And 
aqui. Where's our ammo? Oh, I don't have any power yet. actually not placed properly. One, two, three, perhaps? Two? I like two. Perfect. Did I not set this to... Oh, I did. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's do this. We'll have to fix the belt, of course. sure they can cross that. It's quite the bottleneck, however. I've run out of uh, filter inserters as well. Yellow, sorry, filter inserter becomes yellow inserter. All of these. And let's start laying down some solar panels. Where's our usual design? Gonna have to manually remove all of this. Uh, laser turrets, I think, will go couple uh, substation. For the moment. And let's expand this out. Blueprint. We go here, and here, snap to grid relative, 20 by 20, whoa, 20 by 20, fantastic. That wall you have made there has a weak point. There are points where the biters only need to destroy one wall to get through. Uh, I'm pretty sure if they destroy this wall, they actually still can't get through. But I could still thicken it a bit. For sure. Let's grab our blueprint. Or solar. I'm actually going to have to cut all of these trees down manually. And the fallen trees. That's unfortunate. Are we just about running out of solvers? Not really. Trees? You mean factories in disguise? Apparently. You'd think the biters would attack it. Now, 
Mars out front over here. Okay for now. I think it's about time to have a little break. Oh, it's way past time to have a little break. Let's save that. We'll be starting words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun. Can't you decon plan them? Uh, no, they just don't even show up. Like if you try to... They don't show up when you blueprint either. Actually, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not showing up when we... Um... There's a belt that's wrong here. Let's save again. Um, they're not, like, I have a mod that allows me to blueprint trees, but you have to blueprint something else to get the blueprint started. Um, but they're not showing up at all when we try to decon or blueprint them. So I don't think it's the mod that lets us blueprint trees that's at fault for this one. All right. Uh, for, for real this time, words on stream will start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
Ooh, almost perfect. And there it is. Fantastic. All right, let's continue that later. For now, we'll continue with space exploration. Nicely done. Uh, yeah, I do want to use up all these panels while I'm here. Why not? And we're well short on accumulators now. That's okay. Alright, did we get ammo to the end of the belt? Yes, we did. Um, I definitely need to go back for inserters. And what else? Not a whole lot else. I should put more solar panels and accumulators down here. What did my bots just take off to do? One, two, three, four. A hundred kilowatt minimum. Jeez. So it takes a whole solar panel just to keep a laser turret from losing energy? And that's only during the day. So call it two two solar panels per laser turret, I think. That should be fine. Um, I don't know if one accumulator is going to be fine, though. Now, can we walk across this? I fear that the answer is yes. If there's even one way to do it, that's going to be a problem. It definitely looks like we can... Very weird that the biters didn't walk across here. Um, where's the narrow, narrowest spot? Probably here. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking we just give it some laser turrets. And then connect our power... And we'll connect this down here. That solves a few problems all at once. Uh, let's put some walls around. Why don't I move these back a little bit? We'll see where we can fit these walls and then put some laser turrets in. I think that's actually probably enough, to be honest. But what's better than enough is a lot more than enough. Those will all cover the only places where the biters are able to cross. So I think that'll be fine. Laser turrets are very hungry. Yeah, more so than in vanilla. 13 laser turrets, 298 solar panels, 233 accumulators. Oh! So that's why. Where are they coming from? This base. Alright, I'm gonna have to clear out these ones that I keep almost bumping into anyway when I fly back up here. Uh, Justy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They're getting alarmingly close to the wall. I think it's worth spending some railgun.
Yeah, maybe I should put some shields on. some shields and some laser I do have cryo guns still that would actually help a bit reach the target. Maybe I should have used more railgun first. This is working. Oh, that killed a lot of bots. Whoops. They just got snapped. Whoops. The re just because the uh, regenerative binders are slow doesn't mean they don't have perfect reflexes. They'll just snatch a bot out of the air like it's nothing. <laughs> I wish I had better control over how the bots fly. The formation would be nice. around, they won't get flung towards the biters so much. There we go. Fantastic. How's our base? It is still standing. What are the resistances on those snappers? Uh, let's see. 
explosions, 6.8 slash 38.4%. Fire is negative. Very negative. Physical is 7.6 slash 41.8%. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, those guys are all still there. Good to know. This might take a minute. Where's our research queue? Can we finally queue up? No? Pyroflux smelting. Okay. And we finally have production science queued up. I wonder if we have enough science left. This is 100, 600, 7, 8, 9. It's only 1400. I think we've got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That should that should get done before we have to make another trip. Brother, bring the flamer, the heavy flamer, indeed. There's still so many of them. The inverse cryo gun? Yes. Oh, now they're coming from over here as well? Where are you coming from? They're not the... Oh, they are from that base. Okay. Um, I think they're gonna reach the bots. They're trying a flanking maneuver. <laughs> Alright, I think we're okay now. And now there's some regular fighters coming. Where are they coming from? Seriously, where are they coming from? There's no common biter nests up this way. They're learning. <laughs> yeah. OSTX, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's go get those inserters. We've actually used almost a quarter of our free railgun shots. Jetpack. Should probably organize these somewhat. Where are we going? So negative 7 slash 50% would take 11 damage into 18, then down to 9. Oh, it was negative 50%, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Are these regenerative biters? Yeah, negative 55% fire resistance. 
Okay, what did I come back here for? Yellow inserters. And I may as well take more gun turrets and laser turrets, just in case. Let's grab the rest of the solar panels and accumulators as well. Oh, that's a lot. I need to drop off the crap I'm carrying as well. I'm sure that's going to overdo it for the solar. Let's have that. No, I've run out of liquid... Uh, of fuel. Oh, I can't use coal either. Um, am I still carrying... No, I left it in space. Oh, crap. I can't make any processed fuel right now. Give me this, please. And get that out of my inventory as well. Okay. Accumulators. Fantastic. Let's make sure there's more than enough upstairs. The biogun ammo was limited, yes. The game gave us ammo and we don't have a way to make more for quite a while. This is correct. This is kind of exciting. We can finally... We've got all the room and resources in the world. We can start doing our rail network properly this time. Uh, where are we going? Over this way. Let's get robots working again. And I might just leave it like that for the moment. There's no power? Oh, the lasers must be firing again. No? Why is there no... Oh, because that was never built. Yeah, that would probably explain it. There we go. This will do for now. Speed is a bit more important than making it pretty. I'm sure we've already got more than enough power by a lot. 3.3 megawatts? Yeah. What? How much? What's the draw from the lasers? The draw from the lasers is actually 3 megawatts just passively. Uh, okay. This isn't as overkill as I thought it was. So we've got 10% more than the minimum power consumption from the lasers. Thirsty lasers. Oh, I think something wasn't connected because now we've got twelve megawatts. Oh, it was the it was because it was nighttime. Or close to it. Wait, what? Then why was it settled on three megawatts? Shouldn't it have been zero? Or was that from the accumulators? I think that was from the accumulators at the time. 
You might want to rethink the lasers near that shallow water. What about them? They've got the coverage. There shouldn't be many biters coming through here. They've got the deeps. The biters have to move slower on the sand. Accumulator equals 3.4 gigawatt at the moment. Yep. Yeah, no, this should be plenty. I think. I hope. Probably. Don't quote me. Um, let's get our inserters built. It's probably fine. Do I have walls? I've got 400. I think that's probably enough to reinforce this a bit. Why did it do it like that? I held down the arrow keys and everything. It's a large portion of the lasers in this power network, yes. Okay. And at the north wall... Uh, north wall's looking pretty weak compared to this one. I should probably connect the power networks, make more solar, and we've got like over a hundred lasers I can add to it. Okay, um, lasers. Let's see, I was going to do like, like that, so I'm thinking, for the moment, one laser for each substation. So there is room for entertainment? What? It's got to destroy the wall at least once before he notices? What does? Like, they can go through here, but they're gonna die. Oh, what about up here? That's a maybe. I don't think that's sand these tiles right here. doop -a doop Do I not have repair packs? Nope, the butts are just being weird. And this is... Could, could you stop with that? Thank you, thank you. I wonder if we can repair the tree. <gasps> we can! We can't repair a rock, just to be clear, but it's only these trees that we can't decon plan. And when we pick them up, it sounds like picking up a building. We can repair them.
muted? Yeah, I noticed. Sorry. I've never seen them go for the sand here. They kept attacking, like, coming straight here. But we'll wall this up anyway. How's our power? Accumulated charge went down by, like, 10%. Or a little bit more. But that was without the lasers firing. I think the solar is more than enough. We just need, need more accumulators just in case. Let's see how quick the bots do this actually. Relatively quickly. Fantastic. Alright, I'm a bit more comfortable with that. Need 10 times the energy storage to allow for firing? That's only if they attack continuously. Which they don't. They send little attack waves over and over. Besides which, we're way outside of the pollution cloud here. Like, way, way outside of it. So I'm pretty sure this will hold for quite a while to come. Currently we have no automated resupply of ammo though. I'm back. Are you winning? Yeah, you did miss words on stream. Indeed. Uh, we just sealed off the biters from this entire area. Uh, so we are about to start building rail base. And where better to start than... I'm not sure, actually. There's a huge open space here if we ignore the cliffs. So I think we'll maybe start with that. I was thinking of going for smaller trains this time, uh, partly just to do something different. I was also thinking about maybe... Um, maybe having some of the trains be long trains. Like maybe iron, copper, etc. Where is it? Maybe iron, copper, and so on could be... Uh, like L... C, 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 L. However, I don't know where I would draw the line, is the thing. Like, I don't, especially since I'm, I'm going in blind for K2, and 0.6 changes some stuff. Um, I don't actually know... Which, let's see, one, two, three, four. That's plenty of space. I don't actually know which trains should be long trains. But I was thinking something like this. Four, sixteen, four? No. No, thank you. I don't think I'll ever do that. Maybe one for one, only for one? Wait, what? Smaller trains, you really hate UPS? No. One, 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 or one, two, one for everything else. Yeah, that's what I was going to go for. But I thought I might have some exceptions for some things. Uh, like maybe iron, copper, etc. would be long trains, but like, again, without like playing through the whole thing and getting a feel for it, or pre-planning the entire base with factory planner or something, 
Um, I don't. I, I'm not going to know which I really want uh, to be the shorter trains. So I think I'll probably just go for. Just two cargo wagons as a standard. This is less space than I thought it was, but it's still quite good. I need to go and get more cliff explosives. To say nothing of rail. The stack sizes are nerfed, so your 111 trains are going to have trouble outperforming a single blue belt. I'm only using 111 trains... I'm only going to use trains with one cargo wagon for, like, very low throughput stuff. Or, like, we want to put a bunch of stuff into a single cargo wagon, like, different resources. And... What was I coming here for? Rail and... Cliff Explosives. What's our objective on this planet? This is Nalvis, actually, yes. Alright, how do we have only five cliff explosives? I thought I left, like, a million coal here earlier. That's no good. I might have to actually finally bother to automate this properly. Um, water petroleum, coal... Iron and steel, because barrels... what a pain. Uh... Lasrix, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've got barrels here. If I want to spaghetti it a little bit, maybe. Petroleum is nowhere to be found. Petroleum is all the way over here. I guess that's not that bad. We could maybe bring the petroleum over with the water. We've got steel. Well, the steel is actually just for barrels, which we're already making here. So maybe something like... I could even move this a little bit. Probably not. Get and we need a chemical plant or two. There's no way I'm using the sulfur that we're already building, is there? That we're already making. Water, sulfur, and coal, and then iron and barrels. Uh, where are we making this? Here it is. Water, sulfur, and coal. I forgot we had it bust. That might help. But we still need petroleum and water in the same place, I think. No, it's just water and sulfur. Okay. Water, sulfur, coal, iron, barrel. Water, sulfur, barrel, coal and iron. Probably, probably we just bust down, uh, we, we just bring the iron from the bus with coal, that is. Might be the easiest. So from way up here, is iron really red and yellow on the belt? Just above here, was it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. I could move this up a little bit, make that a long inserter, and then... I don't like that spaghetti. We're going to spaghetti the barrels one way or another. I'll probably move this. So 
So we'll have iron and coal. Chemical plant. Explosives. Is there a universe where a bus explodes? It's too late for the bus. We're not we're not expanding the main bus base, not much. We're moving away from it. Did we already bring water here? We did. Uh, I could maybe... Long arm this. Long arm this. I have some barrels in storage for some reason. Uh, this is supposed to be grenades. Cliff explosives. Why can't I... Wait, what? Hold on. Are cliff explosives made in this? They are. Grenade. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, barrels don't go into explosives, actually. Weirdly enough. So, how far will this red belt reach? One tile too short? Hmm. Hmm. I'm just gonna hate this spaghetti even more than expected. What can you do? I might move this substation a little bit. Or something like this. That doesn't even cover that. Get out of here. Alright, so we have... Oh yeah, sulfur is where? Exactly. Uh, blue, this thing, sulfur. Blue, rare, and sulfur. This is sulfur. So that's gonna look like this. Pretty sure that's it. Probably missing one little detail. actually a little awkward. Um, that's not so bad. Alright, water. Explosives, barrels, grenades, inserter. And insert her. Fantastic. Alright. Let's update what we've got in our save. In our main base. Move this a little bit. And voila. 
Steel underground. Oh, right. Fantastic. Alright, so this was sulfur. This was iron. Where is iron? Oh, it's all the way up there. Oh, it was supposed to be iron and coal. Halt. Halt and Z. Let's grab our little combiner thing. Flip it over. I think that's it. And coal. Easy peasy. Hello, bite a friendo. Don't think I actually have any steel pipe in storage. Nor do we need it here. Not sure how I had underground steel pipe in storage, to be honest. And we probably don't need to accumulate more than 10 stacks of cliff explosives at a time. We don't have a chemical plant handy. Give me that. Um, I can tear this up now that we're doing this. Seems good. And I guess this has no purpose. Um, have some petroleum... Over here, I suppose. All right. This will get ugly real quick. You need to barrel something else with this build. That will never happen. Not in a million years. It's fine. Don't worry. actually don't have any red undergrounds right now. But the bots are on the way. Wait, what? Oh, these are the Logi bots. Taking away this nonsense right here. Uh, take away my empty barrels, please. Thank you. Shift-C while we're at it. And there we go. Alright, I'd like to wait for a little bit more cliff explosive before we go to build this. Besides which, I need to pick up a whole lot of rail. So let's do that. Um, solars and accumulators. Don't really need those right now. That is a line of... Oh, look at... Look at what Comrade Cliffs are doing. Wow, this is very effective. Thank you, Cliffs. Very helpful passing. I couldn't have designed a better system to split them up. Fantastic indeed. Alright, uh, so, where am I building rail? Did I ever automate rail? I don't think I did, because it was pretty easy to handcraft. Uh, it's literally just steam, uh, steam? Steel beam and stone. 
that's this one and this one. So I think we'll do that right about here. Um, why don't I do it next to some other things where I'm picking up random stuff from time to time? Steamed rail, my favorite, indeed. Alright, how about a little belt right about here? Uh, did I never finish this? There we go. That's wrong. Splitters. Belt. Wait, 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 wait. We wanted stone as well. We got again. Uh, where are we getting? Where did I just make... Here it is. And then... stone? Just happens to jump over the, the pipes, that's very convenient. Bambri, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so that's everything we need for rail. I seem to remember rail being a lot more tricky to build fast. Like, we needed really, really fast stones, uh, not stone, iron sticks in both vanilla and SE without K2. Uh, but this is actually just way easier. We still need two stone, four stone per second, but just one uh, assembly machine if it was crafting at 1.0 speed. But still easier than keeping up with the iron sticks, if I recall. I think you did automate rail in the earlier part of this base, really? As in the old, the, the tiny old spaghetti base? Oh, I did too. There it is. Products finished, 1210. And there's a, ran a random assembly too, just sitting on the ground. Weaving the tortellini and spaghetti, <laughs> indeed. That's already 70, 80 rail. Fantastic. How much does our blueprint for a block use? Uh, 1.2k, that's significantly less than the old blocks. And I don't know if I'll bother with this, but I was thinking we could just have a little bit of power generation squeezed in everywhere with these things. It adds up. How's our science in space going? It is still going. What are we going to run out of first? Not cosmic water, I don't think. Not lubricant, I don't think. Maybe solid rocket fuel? One makes five, so we've got still over a thousand. We're definitely not running out of data cards first. And we're definitely not running out of stone first. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're going to run out of solid rocket fuel and we're getting about a thousand more. That's going to be 250 or so. 350, 450, 550... Oh, it's going to be close. We may or may not get production science packs finished without going up there again. Well, practically it doesn't really make any difference. Drop 
try to get the quarry drills instead of prod signs. Do you mean the big mining drill? We need prod signs for that. Quarry mineral extraction. Okay, that's 350. Um, do I even have Immersite, like, on the planet? I don't think so. Or is it... Let me look at this again. Quarry drill, crushed Immersite, Immersite crystal, and so on. It doesn't have a description, as far as I can see. Quarry drill. Is it just a bigger, better drill, or...? Okay, it is quite big. Um, we can't put it on normal resources. It seems like it's got a uh, belt output built into it. It's a special drill. Like a coal miner, you place it on a seam. Does Nalvis have these seams? I've never seen one. Null Cascade. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What should our first rail block be? Probably smelting for copper. Uh, we've got industrial furnaces now. Concrete, steel, heat shielding, electric furnace processing unit. Uh, we've got stone brick. That's not what we're looking for. Heat shielding. I don't think we can do a good spaghetti here. Concrete's on the bus, but it's so far down here. But I would like to take advantage of the electric furnace automation that we've already got. Let's see. Blue circuits should be close by. Here's some. Concrete, steel, heat shield, it's really just concrete. We've got all these other things nearby already. Oh, I can't move that. But what if we put this here? This would be steel, this would be heat shielding. We could, like, borrow these blue circuits. Um... Yeah, it's literally just concrete after that. And I don't think concrete is on any belt nearby, coincidentally. So we're going to have to bring it all the way from down here. Lovely. I could do a proper concrete plus blue circuits. And then how do I actually get it up there? Probably through here. That might not look so messy. Uh, let's see. Blue circuits. They're way down the bottom as well. So, actually, it's going to be relatively neat. I'm just glad this tile was here. Lines up with all of these ones as well. Okay, not anymore. And then this is a problem. So close and yet so far. From being a nice build. I could do this, I suppose. 
pretend we didn't see that. And that's concrete, isn't it? So now we do our this thing. Right about here. And blue circuits. Like so. And I think that might be it. I need to move the media point defense. I still haven't automated supplying these things because we can't make. Uh, it's actually down to eight ammo. We can't actually make. What's the word I'm looking for? Request a chests yet. Is this not built? Bonk. Concrete. Oh, this isn't in the robot network, is it? You should be able to do a full surface defenses now. That's true. I've been putting that off, actually. Okay, I think that's it. Bonk. The chips, blue chips are half powered? What do you mean by that? Half powered? Did you fix blue circuit power? Uh-oh. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I did. Chat is dead to him? Never. Just do planet-wide defenses? You mean that thing I've been planning to do for ages and we just haven't got to it yet? Alright, blue circuits, concrete... Why is the belt not... Oh, because that doesn't actually reach that far. That's kind of important. I don't love this bit of spaghetti, but what can you do? Pretend you didn't see it. Dark Slayer, thank you for the follow. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've got data storage substrates, machine learning data, blank data card, everyone's favorite. And of course, junk data cards. And the data, well, not we don't d directly, deliberately make them, but data formatting for junk data cards. Uh, I forgot one little detail. There we go. Fantastic. Why is there a chemical plant blueprint there? Okay. We should have more than enough rail to make a block or two. Oh yes, almost two blocks. And I think the first thing I want to do is... Well, I wonder if... I'm doing Snap to Grid Absolute for once, just because... Uh, for one reason, actually. It's all Space Elevator's fault. Because if we build a Space Elevator on the surface or in orbit, uh, its counterpart just appears on... Uh, in, in orbit or on the surface, respectively. Uh, it's opposite. 
So I want to eventually put a space elevator or space elevators uh, nice and neat in the middle of a rail block. Therefore, I want the rail blocks on Nalvis and in Nalvis orbit to line up, basically. Alright, let's go grab some rail. Unfortunately, the blocks I've built will just perfectly not cover this uh, copper mine, but what can you do? Speaking of mines, I think I left like 70 electric mining drills in space. Uh, so... We could... Automate making these with the rare metals now. I think that would be worth the effort. Um, first we need to bring all this stuff together. One, two, three... Four, five, six, six items from the bus. How was your power in your armor in normal SE? I think the portable RTG is a joke. They cannot keep up with my bots, even the small builds. It takes a lot of time. Yeah, it, it wasn't great. Um, I have to say, having these, like, the portable nuclear reactor is very nice, especially considering just how long a single uranium fuel cell lasts in this thing. It doesn't burn any... If you're not spending energy, there is no minimum power consumption in Power Armor Gear. Uh, if you're not spending energy, it's not eating fuel. And this is actually... Like, this 10% uh, is actually from the first uranium fuel cell that I put in here. Which took a while to get, because I only had the one centrifuge handy. Uh, we've made a grand... Well, we can actually check. 235? All time? Uh, okay, how about... You... I found it by accident. Um, we've got... We, we've mined up exactly 30 U-235. For the whole time that we've been mining uranium. Which was... How long ago? About 14 hours. Uh, but it only takes... Like, once you, once you got your second piece of U-235... This... This one fuel cell... We've used up 10% of it so far don't have K2 mod installed. Ah, fair enough. It's just more batteries? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think K2 does this, but the batteries you probably have have no limit to how fast they can output power. Plus one for construction roboports. They're awesome. Construction roboports. Uh, do you just mean using a lot of roboports, or something specifically called construction roboports? Alright, let's get this uh, millionth way too many belts build done. We're going to go for stone brick iron plate, single cylinder engine. I think I'll do it down here. Let's just check that nothing... I think this is the last thing we need. So this should be fine. Uh, we need burner. We need electric. And finally, we need electric mark 2. Is electric mark 2 a prerequisite for the big mining drills? Otherwise, I'm going to feel like it was a bit of a waste. Okay, yeah, cool. In fact, I can plan out that ahead of time. Let's do that, actually. Big mining... Oh, right. Big mining drill. And... 
So this needs three things. This needs two. This needs two. And this needs three. Off the belt. That's a little bit unfortunate. Um, we're not going to do any fancy belt weirdness this time. What would be the best way to lay it out? Let's see. Let's say we do this, and then this, and then that needs three. I'm thinking... Something that's backwards. Something like this. So that then... Why did it have to be one more? We're going to have to have a whole belt that's just steel. I guess with the ratios, that makes sense. Alright, let's figure these out. I'm having trouble visualizing. Single cylinder... Stone brick. Whoops, whoops, and furthermore, whoops. Stone brick. You need more power to use them. Use more personal batteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you might want to check this Lolilo, but, uh, sorry, Lolio. Lo no, I got it right the first time. Lolilo. Um, I'm pretty sure the batteries you have have no limit to how quickly they can output. Iron plate. And then iron gear, small electric. Iron gear, where is it? Small electric. And then this one is steel gear. Rare metals. Rare metals. We'll try to change some things out. Alright, good luck. Big electric and processing unit. We'll go on the same belt because of the ratios. And finally, steel plate. They do have a limit to output, but not in practice, really. I've actually run off nothing but batteries with lots of combat gear. I've never seen it. And of course, like this. Can we make this any neater? Any cleaner? Probably not. I don't think it gets better than this, really. And we'll just check that we've got everything here. Hence the not in practice. Uh huh. Alright, that's working. And we just have to belt a million things here. Could be worse, I guess. Alright, first one is gear plus... Can we do an easier one first? Maybe... Oh, I, I don't think I actually have... Yes, I do. We've got steel gear wheels right here. I just need to finish this belt. 
So that's the empty one there. That's going to be easy. Let's start with that one. I'll just double check the belt here. Fantastic. Have I run out of splitters? I think I have. And then... I wonder where we're going to get blue circuits from. Can we... not really. Wait, no, that goes there, doesn't it? Yeah, no, that's perfect, actually. Um, so that just goes there. Splitter. Wait, I did have splitters on my person. Steel... Wait, what was this supposed to be? Blue circuit plus... Iron gear. No, I'm getting confused. Rare metals. Wait, what? What have I done? No, this is correct. I'm doing this one. Which we don't even have. It was big electric motors. Okay. And this has to be steel. Yep. Big electric. That's a problem. Uh, I guess we're doing another weird zigzag thing, unless it would be better to do it like this. Let's see. a little bit unfortunate. I guess we'll do that. And then... Can we actually get steel from this? That would be very convenient. Not quite. Alright, fine. We'll do it this way. I should really do a red belt upgrade planner over this whole thing already. These mixed belts. That wall is slowly being chewed away. Should probably go and repair that. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I just up a just up a 432k per minute oxygen farm for rocket fuel. Jeez. What's this farm? 432k per minute. Oh, this is 81k per minute. So we're looking at what? A bit over five times this. So that you can have rocket fuel. Well, I'm sure we'll get there. Long before we reach the end. Alright, so steel, I think, is already... Oh, that's... That's unfortunate. And substation. Wait, I might want to. I might want some output chests. Is there a universe where I use a regular electric drill again? I don't think so. It's literally just this drill, but worse. Uh, 
And it's not like it goes into another recipe, surely. Uh, correction. It goes into coal mining drills. This is why we check these things. Okay. Now that I know this, I'd be a bit happier if these were accessible to this. But I don't really want to lengthen it. Oh, it's not too late. If we bring these up by two tiles, this can go here. Oops. And like so. Uh, Cody Hunden, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, will I be using electric mining drills after I've got big mining drills? Probably not. Yeah, I think we'll just do it like this for now. And what are we missing here? Oh, I haven't actually bust this stuff. All right, so we need iron gear plus small electric motor. That's going to be fun. Small electric is way up there. Iron gear is... That's steel gear. Iron gear is right where the point defense is, actually. I might have to move it. Yeah, I'm going to have to move it a bit. So we've got eight shots left. I think I... Did I only give it eight before? The other one had eight as well. That's a bit too much of a coincidence. Alright, let's find our... Belt merger thingy. And I guess this could go here. I feel like this looks slightly less bad. How's our coverage? It's about the same. I took a beer glass out of the freezer and it turned from liquid to solid before I placed it on a table. Uh, the beer did? I hope, I hope it was the beer. As opposed to the glass? Wall seems to be doing its job. How's our ammo? 600. Uh, 2.7k. Not too worried about that one. And zero, actually. Do these guys have any kills? Zero, 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 zero. Um, apparently no biters have attacked up here. Research complete. Fantastic. And... Where was I going? Small electric which just happens to be right here. Is this working? Yeah, it's working. All right. Next is iron plate and or stone brick plus small electric. I think I'll do the more complicated one first, just in case the way things line up. Small electric and stone breakers right there. Simple as. And bring this 
down. And will iron be so easy? It looks like it won't, actually. Because this is in the way. Um, I could do it like this. And we'll do a little zigzaggy. Not quite like that. There we go. Boy, I sure love solving this problem over and over. I'm glad we don't have requester chests that we can mass produce. Alright. Um, that will be drills all the way up to electric mining drills, I believe. I don't think we're producing... Uh, Rovo ports yet? Small. These are all on the bus. I could do that. We didn't bring any red circuits down, but we do have them here. I could maybe spaghet something out of this and not have to add white so much to take stuff off the bus. Concrete is quite close. We've got red circuits here. Steel beam should be relatively close. It's up there. Uh, small electric, which we've got here. Red circuits, which we've got here. What was the other thing? Concrete and steel beam. Okay. Concrete and steel beam, you say. Are those next to each other? Almost. Ooh, we're so close to being able to just take off that belt. So close and yet so far. Mm. I don't... I don't think this could work. Requester chests changes the stack size? Oh, requester chest changes and stack size changes are my least favorite parts of point six. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, some ideas I have that will basically more than mitigate the stack size changes. I believe, at least in terms of actually no, at least in terms of. transporting things through space. I'll basically be able to reduce the travel time of spaceships so much that I don't even care that the stack sizes have been reduced by that much. And then we've got space elevators for between planet and orbit, so that's not so bad. Um, but yeah, the not having requester and buffer chests is, like, one or two people implied, like, oh, it's more challenging. This isn't a challenge to me. This is just, it's kind of like building mines over and over. Um, I went to some trouble to minimize having to do that. I actually made a blueprint that was like, where is it? I think it's under... Oh, let me search. Mine? Mines, here we go. I went to some trouble... This is like the second or third iteration, but the idea is you can just slap this down. It's not the best mine, of course, but you can just put this down and it'll get the job done and you can tile it and the trains will come and get all of the resources picked up by these mines so that you don't have to 
I, I call them temporary mines, like, because we've got ore mining in SE, I don't think of these as just mines, I think of them as, like, stop gaps. But having to, like, design as little difficulty as it is, having to design all of this out over and over again, uh, not my idea of the best part of the game. And that's about how I feel about having to belt everything uh, to do more things. When we've literally already been to space. Okay. Can we... Can we automate roboports without, like... Going to too much tr- I think I should just put it off to the side somewhere. So we're going to need two belts. Small electric, advanced circuit, steel beam, concrete. It's not too much in the way up here. Small electric, advanced circuit. Okay. That's going to go here-ish. Let's do that copy-paste again with this thingy to merge those in. I need to know where it goes, though. Preferably here. In fact, we don't really need a splitter between them. If that's taking from the right, that's taking from the left. And then we balance them again. I think we can skip that splitter. So... That's in the way. Alright, one to the left. Get rid of those four. And... Red circuits. And then we need a concrete plus, where is it? Can I fit this like so? No, I can't. Could I come up with a different design that it's more snugly here. Probably not, actually. We need concrete plus steel beam. Also, the steel beams would have... Oh, we've got steel beam right here. Okay, that's a little convenient. So this just needs to be concrete. Which is right here. Yellow is fine. Assembler. Robo port. Uh, let's get a red chest here. And that should be it. Wait, I forgot to make this reach. Alright. And... Probably just stop at like 50. Might have to wait for the chest to set that. These could maybe be fast. Of course it's going to oversupply it by 100% at least. Before it picks up a single small electric motor. And there we go. We know that's working. Fantastic. Alright, so we have our drills. Um, they're coming in a bit slowly. This is why. Is this one keeping up? Yeah, this one's keeping up. And then this one... Huh? 
Oh, I meant to go, let's say, greater than 50. Fantastic. This needs to pick up nine resources every five seconds. I'm pretty sure a yellow with stack two does keep up with that, actually. Fighters are still... Fighters are getting a little scary down here, actually. I should probably pay them a visit at least as far as the pollution cloud. It's your base hex, just do what you want, always do. And let's, we've already got defender capsules, let's get some more processed fuel before we fly into fighter nests and suddenly stop. Uh, I've got some walls, I've got some turrets. I could, the ammo is automatically delivered there already. I could maybe connect it to the main power network and add some laser turrets. And do I have combat gear on? I actually do. Somewhat. I just have to swap out, say, these two for shields. Doop -a doop Oh. Oh. How did... How rude. Alright. Let's fix this, and then maybe we'll do the belt sadness to get media defense installations. Could switch to an actual combat armor for more space. Uh, this has the same space as the power armor. This is the best we can do right now. Six by six. And the only combat difference this makes is the damage resistance, which only kicks in if you go into... Uh, if you run out of shields. So it's really more trouble than it's worth to swap that. get some lasers in here, but not before I do the power poles that I should have done already. Power poles. Spaghetti rail. Fantastic. I'd better check on the other walls as soon as I fix this. And we probably just want... Like one laser turret every... corner or so. And how close are we? Pretty close. Let's get this rock out of the way. Nice. 
Alright, I'm gonna go attack the biters in the pollution cloud, but before I do, let's have a look over here. That is scratched, but not really in trouble. This one is definitely in trouble. Maybe I should start here. And this wall is not pristine, but not bad either. Okay, that's kind of bad. We've got poison biters, it looks like. Yeah. I think they're doing AoE stuff. That is more effective than usual. North wall. Well, this is the old north wall. And this wall is so far away that I'm not expecting the biters to attack. I think they do occasionally, though. Um, just because rampant. Probably just because of proximity. And these old walls don't count anymore either. Alright, let's... Okay, that's disconcerting. Uh, we'll definitely get back to this one, clear out those guys, but we need to prioritize on the left first. Could go a bit faster, but then I'll just have to switch again. The biters are actually starting to get past our current defenses, tech level, etc. Need to step up our game. Which mostly, at this point, just involves clearing them out a bit further. I should repair these ones before I go as well. But I think within the next day we probably want to start building defenses that look a little bit more like this. Maybe not that far just yet. I mean, I've got smaller versions of it. That... I don't know, that might be a little thin? Anyway, the, the point is... We need to not underestimate Rampant, otherwise we're going to have big bad problems. It's not like we're going to clear Nalvis before the biters get really scary. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Certainly not the rate right we're going. Uh, even if I did try to do it early, the, the amount of time it would take would be extreme. Oh, I can see why these ones are more damaged. They're probably... the shots are probably not getting blocked as effectively by the walls there. Okay. And... Down we go. Let's review where the uh, pollution cloud is real quick. I think I'll clear out these ones. And then, like, those ones. We still have our Defender Capsules on hand. We 
can throw out 30 at a time. These are not difficult nests to knock out. a lot easier than the uh, armored biters, or the regen biters in particular. Actually, most of the biter types up north. I guess we're not as far from the origin point. I think there might be a nest over there. I think it's just a coal mine, actually. And there's no path here. No, we're good. And then down this way, southeast. If I remember correctly, disabled by the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got Rampant, but with Bida expansion off. So it's sort of a side grade, you might say, for Bida difficulty. Just the sheer amount of time that it takes to clear a planet like Nalvis with Bida expansion on, I just didn't want to deal with that again. I mean, even without Biter expansion, it's going to take long enough. Even when we have Spidertrons. Or artillery. Maybe I could use manual artillery and just fly around and defend it myself. Place it down on the spot. Do we already have artillery? I don't... I think so. Yeah, no, we need a thousand space signs. For a second I thought that might have been like artillery shooting speed or something in the research. Uh, Bike Hamel May. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What about clearing the whole planet with bioweapon thingy? Uh, we could do that. I never actually used it last playthrough. We had energy beaming. It took a little while, but it was sort of easier. And you want to set up that uh, infrastructure in a system anyway. Doesn't it turn the whole planet nasty and, like, makes you need life support to be on that planet anyway? The, uh... I can't remember what it was called, but Extinction Ball, let's call it that. And next is up here. We're gonna get Vulcanite processing done soon.
bust a few butts. Alright, where's the pollution cloud? Up here. Lots of counterattacks coming for us. Glaive is the Glaive Beam is the best though? Yeah. It kind of is. Although with a large enough planet, it's um with fighter expansion on with a large enough planet, it's never gonna get the job done. Unless you put an enormous amount of energy into it. And even then you should probably do multiple beams. Uh, I hope I'm not about to lose power. Oh, we've run out of... We've run out of bots. But I think we're okay. We'll save the bots until we hit the next one. I definitely want to hit this. Maybe... Oh, I should definitely hit these ones. And while we're at it... Probably about this far out. That is a very large worm. Fantastic. Let's hit this one because it's close. This one, I think. Still have 400 plus bots? Yeah. But we might one day start to run low on them until I go back to base and pick up some more. I need at least a thousand to be perfectly prepared. After the, uh, after the biters up north, these ones are, like, taking a vacation. Okay. I still haven't done any air purification now that I think about it. Probably because we don't have logistic bots, like, properly. But if we... if we do a bunch of air purification in the middle of our pollution cloud, it's probably going to add up to a lot, right? I definitely want to run the experiment. They, the air purifiers spit out, like, used up air purifiers as well. That's going to be problematic. Or I could do a rail block with air purification. That'd be kind of funny, as one of my first rail blocks. Oh, that is a large nest. But relatively easy to chip away at. I think I wasted a bot by accident there.
Round and round and round we go. It's pretty easy to bring power to a point when all of your power just clusters up on one spot. <laughs> Meanwhile, the poor biters are following something resembling the laws of physics. Alright, that is probably far enough on this end. I'll head down here, if only to make, uh, get the maximum value out of these bots here. Putting speed, module, speed modules in the greenhouses reduces pollution? Huh? In our game, we set up logistic train support air cleaning outposts with recycling and taking back polluted water as well. Seems good. Oop, let's be a little bit careful. You know, considering the gimmick of the yellow ones is they are fast, they're not that fast. I guess normally... I, I guess they were designed without jetpacks in mind. Efficiency modules, funnily enough, makes them clean less pollution. Amazing. Uh, so is it the greenhouses, or can you efficiency module the purifiers? Uh, hi. Oh, those tiny ones are setting us on fire with ranged attacks. Alright, let's go clear this. Purifiers take no modules. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. Aren't they like two by two? I think I built one just to see what it looked like. Well, not that it would be impossible for a mod to let you put modules in something that's 2x2. Two two. Where are we? Napping. Spin to win. And up here. So fantastic. What are these? Common biters. And you're next. 
next. I'd better get these ones as well. The green ones are the ones that have managed to do some real damage, I think. Are these regenerative? They are regenerative. What about up here? I'm glad their nest is so small. Uh, acidic biters, as well as regenerative. Makes a cool pattern. Just iron, isn't it? Coal, oh, actually. It flickers a little bit on the map. Did that meteor just land here? I think it did. The nests are so much smaller than what we had to deal with before. I'll definitely go for artillery soon. Probably probably have to do another trip to space to get it done. Um, but obviously that'll be well. And I might just carry around an artillery turret or ow, 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 ow. Okay. That was sneaky. I didn't see all the regenerative biters in the trees, and they almost insta-killed me. Time to find out if we're going to get production science pack done. You know what? You've convinced me. Railgun, railgun for all of you. Or many of you, anyway. And we're burning through quite a few bots. I'm pretty sure it doesn't get better than regenerative biters in terms of the, the defenses at the nests. Okay. Let's hit one or two of those green ones on the way back. And I might take a little break after this one. It's going to be a bit of a mental reset anyway. I did finish reinforcing the south wall. Yes, I remember that. 
There should be a whole chest of rail by now, probably. Or approaching it. Oh, that was nasty. Alright, back we go. Look at how keen these defender capsules are. Or defenders, I should say. And we're just about back. We're actually more than half full on our ridiculously huge steam battery. And I'm guessing... Oh, we are burning fuel. What time is it? Oh yeah, the sun, the sun is going down. Okay. Alright, let's give it a save real quick. Throw up some words on stream. Hopefully Veldak is listening this time. We'll start words on stream in 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
Okay, perfect. Fantastic. One more? All right, one more. Okay. Nicely done. Back to some space exploration, I think. And I think I'll definitely go for... It looks like we will get production science pack done. Um, I'll have to take another trip to space to give it rocket fuel. And I'm not sure what else to get another several thousand um, science out of it. Did I? Okay. We've got how much space in this rocket? 180. How much solid rocket fuel is in there? Only 1k. We're definitely adding more of that. Solid rocket fuel... How many stacks is 1k? It is many. It's 100 is 10 stacks, so this is 100 stacks. Almost one third of what's already in here is solid rocket fuel. Um, on the other hand, solid rocket fuel is what we're bottlenecking on. We also need some stone. Uh... We need one stone per one stone per space science pack. Oh, is it what I think it is? Yeah, one stack. One stack makes fifty for both of those. Um, and we're not about to run out of anything else, as far as I can tell. So. Why don't we add just as many stacks of solid rocket fuel as we do stone? So like just whatever we're doing with sub solid rocket fuel, we'll double it for stone. How about another 50 stacks each? So 500? And stone should actually have been like, yeah, that wasn't proportional based on the cost of the science packs. Uh, just multiply this by five. 
about 7,500. Uh, and then whatever room we have left, we'll use for uh, tech cards. And that will probably keep science going up there for quite some time. Meanwhile, we've got an entire chest full of rail already. We've also got plenty of roboports. Turns out there's 10 roboports in storage somewhere already. Other than here, that is. That is a lot of electric mining drills as well. Fantastic. Oh, and what about our furnaces? That's a lot of furnaces. I don't know if we need to build more furnaces than that all at once. Okay, so I would like to get this copper mine built. I'd like to get a rail block built that smelts it in the big furnaces. Um, I'm not worried about productivity bonuses just yet. It's very easy, I've, I've certainly done it before, uh, to go in too hard on productivity modules super early on and just completely crash our power. Not to mention it costs resources and time to get them going. I think I'd rather scale up a bit more first. I don't want to delete this rail, actually. That would be bad. I could maybe go around instead. Let's go pick up the rail already. Uh, we want to pick up the rail and the new drills. It's a very short trip. I'm not going to worry about getting a checklist right this time. May well do better than normal smelting at this point. Enrichment is decent. Enrichment. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we see it. Utility science pack. PU, space transport belt, efficiency module. Six cryonite. We don't have any cryonite yet. Machine learning data and cool thermo fluid. Uh, cryonite... Well, let's not just look at the core fragments for once. We'll take advantage of our stop gaps. There's cryonite on Rubik, not a whole lot. What is that? Mineral water? Mineral water. There's no cryonite here whatsoever. Uh, Zach, Zach Hall. Very small radius. Mostly cryonite. That's probably going to be the easiest. For the early game. Hagen is... I think Hagen is always here and is always cryonite. Based on what I've seen. Um, I'll have a look at... Zakol and see if it wouldn't be significantly easier or harder to go to Hagen. But we'll be getting our cryonite from one of those. What's the recipe for this one? Vulcanite. Iron ingot. That's new. Prod module U238? Really? Plasma stream? We have to get plasma stream before we get like our next one of our next two science packs. That's interesting. I don't think I don't remember making plasma stream until much late. No, wait, it was actually in the main bus space in space that we did last time. So yeah. There was a very narrow use for it early on in the game. We can make it out of lithium and chemical gel. 
Actually, that's the only way to make it. How do we make lithium? Lithium chloride and water. I think I looked at this before. Mineral water and hydrogen chloride. Okay. We know how to make hydrogen and or chloride. Hydrogen and chlorine, rather. SF Hobbit, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How is your stream today? Welcome, raiders. Closer to sun, you get vulcanite. Closer to edge, you get cryonite. That makes sense. Zakol is waterless, so you can't send water ice into space from there. Uh, I don't think I'll be needing to for a while. But waterless poses its own challenges. So yeah, I think we'll probably go be going to Hagen. As is keeping with tradition. Uh, let's grab our drills. And... Rail. I need to drop off a bunch of stuff in my inventory to make room. Even distribution, spam shift C, and suddenly we've gained, uh, what, 20 stacks? That's nice. I don't think I need this many drills. I could be wrong, actually. Alright. I'm just gonna make a little detour here. We're gonna have to go further back than that. Curved rails being what they are. Is that connected? I think it's connected. Something is attacking. Is that... I think that's a counter-attack. I was looking at this attack down here as well. While Words on Stream was still playing. Uh, I don't think they're going to keep attacking. I think that was a counter-attack from when I attacked this nest. And others near it. And I think this attack is probably... A counter-attack from when I was over here, probably, since the pollution cloud only goes this far. But if I notice them attacking here again, maybe I'll go further out. That's going to be a nice, a nice few small bottlenecks when we eventually take all of that. Okay, we've got a lot of time, but we do need to get automatic supply up there, eventually. Let's get some drills built. And before I do, let's turn off my RoboPort. I want to measure out where our rail blocks are going to go. Maybe I'll get rid of some of that roundabout. No, let's just... I think until that copper is gone, we're going to have to not use any of these four blocks. So we're going to have some rail up here. Well, that gives us all the room in the world to do what we need to do here. And like this as well. I guess I'll turn the robots back on. Uh, K2SC, mines. Red belt with blue miners. Should be fine. Let's see how this lines up. Should probably just do something a bit more custom over there. And is this actually covered? It's it's one off being covered. No. How about this? 
need to go get some red belt. Um, yeah, I might change this. What is that? Oh, that's the sound of this drill. That's different. That will probably do. And something like this. else as far as I can tell at the moment. And I think we'll do our copper smelting uh, right about here. Apparently I had some random wind turbines in my inventory. I probably picked them up from here actually. That'll do for now. How many lanes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, oh, I don't think I even have to worry about that this time because we're going to be using bulk rail loader. What? Oh, we got we got one piece of uranium. Lovely. Let's go drop that off, I suppose. We've got jetpack. Okay. Uh, bulk rail loaders. Should I automate this already, or is it easy to make? One second, three rail, eight iron gear wheel, two electronic circuits. That's actually incredibly easy. And it's the same for the loader or unloader. EC iron gear. Oh, I should probably turn these on. And we can already make two of these. And for the drop-off point, I'll want a couple of unloaders. I still haven't decided if I want to do long trains for things like this. It's just going to be tricky deciding when something should be 4, 2, or 1 cargo wagon. With two cargo wagons, it's really easy to, like, rebalance stuff. I guess we could go so far with it and potentially change it. We'll be using the same size rail blocks regardless. What a fine citizen going all the way across the base to put the rubbish in the bin <laughs> instead of dropping it on the ground. You mean the spicy rock rubbish? The rubbish that kills in like two minutes or less? Yeah, I can go out of my way to, to put that in its place. Okay, um, give me more rail please. And I should get, why do I have all this stone? Get out of here. I should get myself locomotive cargo wagon. Uh, 
Oh, we're going to have to handcraft a bunch of stuff there. They do have multi-cylinder engines lying around. And then steel. Steel is looking very healthy. Uh, I haven't got a depot yet. I haven't designed a depot yet. I'll maybe do that here. See how much we can cleanly fit. Oh, I needed a lot of red belt. Let's get that. Well, a relatively large amount of red belt. I don't like having an odd number of these. I've been using exclusively one one trains and loving it. Interesting. It literally doesn't get faster than that. Yeah, I was thinking with smaller trains, like I'm going to be doing smaller builds anyway uh, to keep the UPS higher. And we're going to be using, obviously we've got loaders. Um, we're going to be using bulk rail loaders, loaders and such, so that we don't have to have a million entities at each train station for the loading and unloading. Um, what is this? That's not so bad, I think. What about here? They're still attacking. Okay, I might... I might have to go over here in the relatively near future. Let's try and get this done first. Um, so, we've got all the space in the world for this mining outpost um, because it's in the middle of where four rail blocks would be. Bulk rail loader must be aligned with rail. I think if you put the rail there it doesn't let you do this. You have to remove just the right few pieces of track. And then is it like this or like this? Let's find out. I need a logistic train stop. I already made a couple, didn't I? Or did they get placed? No? I'm sure I remember... Oh, that was here. I'm pretty sure. That was in the, uh, the negative space. The sandbox. I actually need to craft wire for this. We're just missing glass for a lamp. I think we have lamps automated because we've got lit power poles. Give me that. Why don't I just make a handful of them while we're at it? With a bunch of K2 advanced additional electric engines, they zoom. But we do have that as well, I think. Train, uh, locomotive, yeah, 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 we've got a space locomotive, nuclear locomotive, I don't remember that, that sounds good, uh, space locomotive, is that it? They're electric trains, but you actually have to deal with logistics for the fuel still, because they run on batteries. That's not lining up very well. How about... Like... Fit? Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, it's on the ground. And then... I think this goes here? Or is that wrong? That's wrong. Okay. So that's our bulk rail loader. Uh, looks like there's nothing we can do with circuits with it except read contents. 
That's about what I would, would expect. And we'll need to balance between the two of them. We could... Okay, what's the theoretical max speed of this? That that's not that's not per second. Six point four K, good grief. hundred and seven per second is actually quite fast. Um So that's approaching four belts. Alternatively Hmm. Oh, we can walk right through this? Well, I actually don't have any loaders on me right now. I think they're in space. Because I was dropping off everything because of using the space capsule to come back. Reducing the fuel cost. Where are my loaders? Give me a stack. Give me a... How... How is that less than a stack? Oh, the bots probably delivered some? Yeah. I haven't used these in ages, I'm gonna put those away. Other power sources for the power armor. Spare thruster suit can also GTFO. Um, it's looking a bit better. Alright. I was thinking we could just fast load these straight in. Uh, we do need to balance them. Kind of. One, two... No, that's not really one. Let's say one, two, three, four... belts. Yeah, we'll bottleneck on four belts. I mean, that'll be more than we need anyway. Feels like it's missing something. Why do I not just blueprint book this? Whatever, let's let, let's confirm if we know how to do this. Copy paste flip. That looks right. Four to four basic belt balancer. Fantastic. And unfortunately there's no middle tile here. But we'll go one, two, one, two. We're going to read the contents of this to LTN. We're going to have standard pickup station. Oh, actually, I just realized these blueprints are going to be out of date. Maybe I'll just change them. Because we're not looking for 160 stacks. We're looking for 80 stacks. Uh, train length is 4. Wait, that's train count. Um, train length is 4, specifically. And I don't care how many trains are queuing up for this at the same time, if the resources are there. Okay, so I'm going to have... Which would have the most? This is 24, and this is 24. It's actually equal. But it won't be for that long. Let's do these four.
and then over here. Hey damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How goes it? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, we've been in orbit. We've done the laziest uh, space science pack build possible. And I think we're going to run out of solid rocket fuel uh, a little, uh, just a moment after we get production science pack researched. For the moment, I'm going to go back up there with more stuff, especially stone and solid rocket fuel, um, to just hand feed this to get a bunch of uh, stuff that's handy in the short term. Um, we are just starting to... I, I've, I've cleared this massive area here and built some forward walls so that we can finally really get started with uh, rail blocks. Still not? Still not sleeping. Oh, rip. Did you not prod module the lab? I did not. I'm not that concerned about it at this scale. Although I could, and I didn't I think I didn't have the resources when I went up there the first time. Uh, I was missing... Electronic components, that's it. Yeah, I'll take some prods next time. Um, I actually want to turn these belts around. Actually, just that one. Where are my bots? There we go. And then we'll snake this through here. And we'll do the same thing over this side. Oh, this is here as well. Okay. How about this then? Uh, no, actually. And furthermore, how dare you. That's less elegant than it could be. Fantastic. Probably a good idea to link this up to the main power at some point, as opposed to the couple or so wind turbines that were just there to feed the uh, sentinels and the yellow inserters to keep the gun turrets working. There we go. Um, I did mean to fix this first, oh well. Fantastic. Get that out of my inventory. And each of these can store 320 stacks, which is eight train loads. It's a little bit more than if we did six chests per cargo wagon, which is 7.2 train loads. We love space, yes indeed. Uh, Alright, so that is going to go up here. I need some rail signals as well. Does it matter? It kind of doesn't. Just make a little exception to the rule there. I don't think I've automated rail signals yet. Electronic circuit and iron plate. I can't imagine that there would be anywhere in the entire base where we've already got those two things brought together. Um, 
actually that's looking more difficult than expected. I withdraw my sarcasm. Uh, how about here? There we go. Except I need two of them. One for each type. Or I could use the auto crafter. Oh, we've already got them. Oh, we, we've we already got them. Yes. Fantastic. I should remember that I've got the auto crafter. It do go burr. Um, what else are we doing? Well, nothing at the moment. Let's get our rail block done. Why are you laughing? What possible reason? Alright, uh, we're gonna do signal on this side. And... Why don't we do a quick... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Holy crap, it's not even because the power was out or the ammo wasn't there. Look at him go. Okay. Um All right, you've convinced me. I'll I'll pay you a visit. That's pretty scary. That's very scary, actually. Rampant is stepping up. Let's grab all of the defender capsules. Um, let's throw whatever out of my inventory for the moment. Why do I have logistic bots? Let's switch over to combat stuff. Actually, until I get closer... It's going to be all jetpack. All the defender capsules, please. And don't forget to take lots of fuel. Maybe not that much fuel. Maybe a bit more fuel. That's crazy. That's rampant. Um, I thought their attacks up here would be a lot weaker because it's so far away from... The pollution cloud? Uh, even... Even if I didn't, I, I didn't think I made that wall so... weak. We had turrets every, like, ten tiles or something. Alright. Um, I'll keep an eye on the map. Figure out what I'm switching here. Here we go. One laser, two shields. That should do it. And defender capsules. I will never look at spawner enemies the same way again. I think we need to get flamethrower turrets. I, I, I think it's... I think the hour is later than I realized. Also, I personally have to be more wary of those tiny ones. They're actually surprisingly terrifying. Those roach-looking ones are crazy. <laughs> Do you mean these teensy tiny, uh, teeny tiny ones? that are kind of difficult to see on the pink on pink background. Alright, the wall, the rest of the wall hasn't been destroyed yet, at least. Hey, Dardano. Good to see you again. Oh, well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I 
I think it was probably the spawners evolving to the point where they generate medium biters. The, the, the spawner biters, that is, these ones. That That's probably what pushed it over the critical mass to being super dangerous right now. So I have to cry out. Oh, oh, jeez. Wow. Okay. 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 I think I have to prioritize getting rid of the purple ones. And by the purple ones, I mean their spawners, not them themselves so much. Where is their base? Down here? I don't... Uh, I think we have to use Railgun. I don't want to use Railgun on this at the moment, but I think we have to hurry. Like, I could definitely clear this without exotic weapons. But we're a little bit against the clock here. are under attack still. Alright, it's getting a bit quicker. Killing the spawn is faster, that is. I think we're stabilizing. And a meteor is coming. I won't have time to see where it's landing. happening right now. Oh, don't tell me Rampant just ordered a bunch more attacks. Hey, Tumbling Satellite. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just popping in real quick to say hello. Hope the Biter experiment extermination is going well. Uh, if you mean the Biter's making progress towards exterminating us, then maybe. Oh, those blue ones are taking a lot of hits. Let me out. We got the spawner. Fantastic. Alright, there's another purple base over to the right. You're really going to need some AoE damage? Yes. Reminder Very much so. Slow and insidious killer. I think we have rockets, right? Yeah. I should get myself a rocket launcher. And we should get flamethrower turrets to the north wall. But first, like right now, I have no choice but to prioritize clearing further away from the walls. And then repairing them. Okay, they're sending more reinforcements. I think I gotta make sure I deal some more damage to the spawners.
relatively easy with the fast biters. It's a pretty large nest though. down to 13 bots. Oh, wait. I was gonna say we're so low on bots, actually. This is just, this stack is down to 20. Thanks for the stream. Take care, Whiskers. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, it's actually, uh... It's actually time to finish, almost. I'm not gonna be resolving this military issue until next time. This isn't... We're not wrapping this up in three minutes. I might spend a little time um, designing a couple of things off stream, potentially. Just like basic stuff that's not that interesting, like smelter rows and stuff like that. so we can just slap it down in game. Alright, let's do a save and let's start looking to see who's streaming. The old Factorio. Darkest Dungeon, that was my first soundbite ever, indeed. I think it was probably the first one I grabbed, actually. No limit lift offs. Oh, speedruns. Okay, first of all, is anyone doing SE and or K2? Uh, I haven't raided Tumbling in a minute. He did just get started. Maybe if we don't see anyone doing the K2 and or SE? Love the overconfidence sound bit. It is a good one. It fits so many places. Especially on this stream. Uh, I think we're going with tumbling today. Own Galaxy, thanks for hanging out. Wait, was I muted? How much was I muted just then? Not very much, I hope. Own Galaxy, thanks for hanging out. And to everyone else also, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions, by all means. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with a Blind Calamity Terraria run. Uh, I've actually got most free hard mode things done. I haven't been to the Abyss. Uh, there's some stuff in the Underworld I haven't really checked out yet. But for the most part, we're almost ready for hard mode. And away we go. Every time I fix a throughput issue, I find another. Which is a good sign, because it means that uh, we're making progress and getting faster and faster. And oh my god, hacks! <laughs> welcome, welcome! <laughs> and Nightbot welcomed you with all the sound bites of the world. Welcome on Invaders, we're just.